Hello, what's going on everyone? It's Dan here and guys, I am so exceptionally beyond excited to be welcoming you to my, count it, fourth run of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, the Sith Lords. Today, actually, well, technically yesterday, yesterday, the 18th of December, 2022, marked the 10-year anniversary of the first time I posted this game to the channel back on, well, December 18th, 2012. And honestly, a lot of people, I'd say a good chunk of my channel, have made their way to this channel and continue to come back, you know, subscribe due to this series or KOTOR 1, whatever it be, KOTOR, the KOTOR franchise is probably one of my most... I guess I want to say like the, when people subscribe to it, a series, that's probably in the long run, the most influential, impactful series on the channel. So with that being said, earlier this year, for those of you who remember, in around July, August, end of July, I also was celebrating, obviously because I did it in the same year, all those years ago, KOTOR 1's 10 year Let's Play anniversary. So I told you guys, surprise that I was gonna be doing KOTOR 2 10 year again. And then people are like, when are you gonna do that? And I'm like, I'm pretty sure it was in December that I played that and I double checked and it was. It was quite close to Christmas actually. So Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. There you go. <laughs> anyway, guys, we're gonna be doing this. Now I want you to understand the way this works. For those of you who didn't watch the 10 year anniversary of KOTOR 1, the way it works is this is legit a nod, an homage, a tip your cap, a reflection to the original run so what that means is it's going to be done in the same way that the first one was so when we did it earlier uh or when we played it back in uh sorry the, in 20 sorry when we played kotor one the first time through addison thank you for upgrading your membership appreciate that um when we first played kotor one back in 2012 we did a light side uh jedi guardian soldier um, and then obviously we ended up mimicking that with the 10 year anniversary. We did a light side Jedi guardian soldier with two lightsabers. So this time we ended, I double checked it and I thought I did something differently, but apparently I didn't. What I did was Jedi guardian dark side. And, uh, I believe, uh, I'm just trying to remember. I think I went with the weapon master as well. So I went just right like full on, um, uh, you know, full on Jedi Guardian stats. So we're, but we went double bladed saber this time. So we're going to mimic that as well. The difference is now, if you guys were with me in 2019, I actually replayed this game, um, modded on PC for the first time on the channel. And uh, I don't know if you guys also remember, but back in 2015, it got a bit of an update uh, when it was re released for a few different platforms. And in doing so on Steam, it got a, a massive, like, I guess UI overhaul. It got a, uh, you can actually use it. It's been more modernized, so you don't have to do as many mods and troubleshooting to get it to work. They've done that on their end. So I have installed mods, and if you want a complete list of all the mods I'm using, click the description, link in the, oh, sorry, not the link, but go to the description. I've got it, them all listed there. There's much less mods than in KOTOR 1, mainly because you don't need to install as many because they've already included a bunch of them. The only things I've really done is made a lot of graphical stuff, uh, a couple of DLC mods, but in terms of, and I think I did a UI fix to make, like it already, they managed, managed to make it work for widescreen, which is so nice because KOTOR 1 was a pain to actually get to work in widescreen. So we've gone ahead and done that. And I've done just like, a, like I said, maybe a UI change for like the, uh, the boxes that show like, you know, the, the, the characters and things like that. It, instead of they're less stretched, it fixed stuff like that. Just very, very minor fixes. But obviously, we've got the restore content mod, as you can see over there. It's saying above uh, all the stuff. I've also, now here's the thing. Last time, people said, Dan, are you going to be doing the droid planet? Now, the droid planet, um, I originally thought was that cut content on Telos that involved HK-47. But no, that was the droid factory, which was an HK story that you were supposed to do by talking to HK and things like that. Um, but the droid planet, I believe it was M478. I'm not sure if that's 100% right. Um, that was an additional two hour extra planet. It's kind of like a detour. Apparently it's not good. Apparently it like ruins your experience or just not ruins, but it like, it's a chore to play. But I figured, you know what? We didn't do it last time. We'll go to the droid planet this time. So I've also installed some, you know, that as well. So anyways, guys, I'm sorry. I just had a lot to tell you about because there's a lot going on. I'm excited. We're going to finish off 2022 with one of my favorite games of all time. I feel like a lot of your guys' favorites as well. One of the major channel or series you, you came to watch on the channel, as I'm sure some people see. People have been tweeting me about it, things like that. So I'm excited. Guys, 
but I can't do this without your help. Make sure you leave a like on the stream. Let's see if we can get more likes on this stream than we did on any of the other Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic videos. Let's see if we can get it. I mean, that obviously KOTOR 1 and KOTOR like 2, the originals, have the most, but let's see if we can get. Keep smacking like, support the channel. Appreciate it a lot because I, I'll say, I say this now, I probably won't mean it, but this will probably be one of the last times we do play KOTOR for the channel. I probably don't mean that, and I, I think I said that last time. Let, let's just say this. It'll be... <laughs> It'll be the last time I'll play KOTOR for a while. <laughs> I'll come back in like 2032 with a 20 year anniversary. <laughs> who knows, man? Who knows? So hit that like button. Say what's up in chat. Um, yeah, it's great to have you all with us. So I'm going to go scroll through chat. We'll say our hellos and we will get started in just a hot second. All right, let's go. What up, Marth? Hey, Red. What's up, Ben? Hey, Sean. What's up, Husky? Uh, what's up, uh, Games? Hey, Michael. Hey, Jaden. Uh, what's up, Eric? Uh, what's up, King? Andrew, Tyler, Jess, what's good? Welcome, you guys. Uh, I was like, all oh, right, the audio cut it. Um, what's up, Noah? How's it going? Hey, Mike. What's up, Tanner, Kimmy, Quad, uh, Matt, Snipes, Gareth? Welcome, you guys. What's up, Stan? Weekend was pretty good, pretty busy, honestly, more than anything. Prepping for Christmas, shopping, things like that. Uh, what's up, Vlad? Hey, Thomas. What's up, Monet? Staley, welcome. Hey, Seba. Hey, Mickey. What's up, Jester, Shep, Britt? How's it going? So I'm just trying to move through this. Matt N, what's good? Michael B, Lenny, what's good? There's a few Mikes and Matts. Oh, my. <laughs> Martin, what's up? Uh, Slow, how's it going? Havel, welcome. NASCAR, how's it going, bruv? Hey, Isaac. Smokem, what's good? Trey, Sam, welcome, you guys. Raccoon, welcome. Uh, David, welcome. Mustang, how's it going? Elijah Shep, cold. I, I might have double dipped on a few of you guys, but I'm sure you're okay with that. <laughs> he, he was hoping it was going to be a video instead of a stream. Where have you been, fam? I've been streaming nonstop. Videos aren't the same. Videos do not work the way they used to. I'm surprised you think this would be a video because, like, my last series, I also did a stream. Anyway, it's not sad. I think it's just the way things go now. Anyway. Uh, what's up, Tech? Look at it this way, you get more content right off the bat. I'm going to be finishing Paragus today. I'm not going to be splitting into like 30 second part, 30 minute parts, and you'll get two parts a day, you know? So you get more content right off the bat. Uh, what's up, James? Johnny Eldred. Sorry, there's so many. It's hard to catch up. Uh, what's up, Darren? Little Coat was good. Uh, whoa, big jump. Shit, yeah, I'm, I'm losing track of people. This is this is not very practical. <laughs> Gumball, what's up? What's up, Addison? Hey, Snipes. Seago, what's good? Hey, Dave. Welcome, bro. Hope you had a good birthday, brother. Uh, what's up, Carlos? My God. Jedi, what's up? Hey, Crystal. Bobby, was good? Tavian, was good? <laughs> I can't catch up, man. Devang, you guys keep coming in hordes. Captain, was good? School, hello. Don, was good? Twensy. I'm almost there. Colossal. There, I think I caught up. I'm not skipping. Why would I skip Paragus? It's a major part of the game. Can you even... You can't skip Paragus. Anyways. So, there you go. We're caught up, I think, now. Let's go through. Start our game. Now, I've actually got all my... I wrote down... I thought about it. What I wanted to do for stats. So, just give me a minute. Um, Sorry, one second. I wrote down all the stuff in a note of what I wanted my stats to be. And just right off the bat. So, I know we're going to go with a Jedi Guardian. That much is apparent. I'll do a custom one. Now, the portrait... Now, normally, I've actually gone with... In the past, for some reason, I always pick the redhead. I don't know why. I think I like the face model. Um, I think the only thing I'm really going to change up... Uh, or, sorry, the face I'm going to change up. I've always... And as I got older and I started playing this game more... Uh, obviously not... Uh, you don't see that on... Uh, reflected on the channel. Actually, this music's pretty loud. I'm going to have to drop down a bit. Sorry, guys. I didn't think it was that loud. Let's see if that's better. God damn it. Every time I minimize, though, it's going to be shouting. I just don't want to be talking over it that much. Sorry, guys. It's the downside with these older games. Is you have to, like, minimize and, like, it freaks out. Look at the profile picture on that. What have they done to his ears? I'm going to roll with this. I think it's, like, the best all-rounder. Hold on. Let me see. let me go back for a second. His hair is blonde. Honestly, since we're going dark side, I don't think it's going to matter. Because... Um, because to be honest, it's like his like he's just gonna go gray anyway for being dark side. Because I already did that game, so that's the thing. People are misunderstanding the point of these. 
it's a it's a nod to the first and i've done that i have done a force uh i've done a jedi guardian slash sentinel i've done all the builds already that's the thing so this, this you gotta remember this is my fourth time through this series or through this game so uh if i've picked enough force sensitive i've done that i did it in another series so you just have to watch a different one so i think it was my second run that i did a jedi uh a, a sent not sentinel what am i saying a consular I'm pretty sure I did Consular in my second run when I did Light Side. I'm pretty sure of that. So, anyways. Attributes. Okay, what did I write down? Sorry, I remember I wanted to focus Strength and Constitution. I just made a... Oh my god, sorry, where did I put this? Yeah, okay, there it is. Um, so, I put I wrote down Strength of 14, because I know I want that high. Dexterity, I also want quite high. I put it to a 12. Constitution is going to be the highest at 16, because it has a big bearing on your... Um, on your... Uh, what do you call it? Your health, your HP points, you know, your hit points. Intelligence can stay where it is because we're not going to utilize that. That involves skill points, so we're going to leave it. Who cares? Wisdom, I want fairly high for force points. So we're going to go 14. And then charisma is going to be pretty high as well at 12. That's where we're going to kind of have it. We have the massive boost to constitution. God, this is actually quite loud. Anyway. Okay. Let's see. Let's hit OK from there. And I think skills. Now... In this game, that they really added a lot uh, from the last game that was very important. So, in the first game, there, your your skill points were like next to none for a guardian slash uh, uh, soldier. But with this one, we have demo. And they give you four, but I would like to focus persuade and treat injury. I don't have to use them all, but I might. I mean, I don't know if <sighs> awareness is good, but persuade and treat injury are going to be your top two like skill points in this game so let's see what it recommends it recommends me put them all into treat injury we're not going to do that but I, at the same time i would like to put some into demos because demos can be used in this game to blow up uh unusable containers you know what i mean like certain containers you can, you're getting locked out and you can use a mine so what i might actually do for now just for now is drop one treat injury and because I have already a high vitality starting off one into demolitions just because that's you don't need much at the start you know what I mean so feet wise I already know what I want I want to go with the thing is they give you base in this game they gave you base points you know they actually gave you some stuff that you can use right off the snuff um, so light medium so we you know, again that's gonna be kind of redundant but they give you all these as a base in the first game you had to actually get flurry and but they give them all right off the snuff right off the snuff and there's proficiency as well lightsaber melee weapons war veteran i can't remember what war veteran is i actually that might have been okay well anyway um one thing we're gonna do since we can't get it right now I, this i'm since my last one was a double bladed we are gonna rock with the two weapon fighting as our, our first intro feat since we already have the flurry uh, obviously things like lightsaber focus and proficiency are going to be your specialization I should say I think proficiency is first proficiency focus and then specialization only a Jedi Guardian that gives you a damage bonus of two with them so that'll be something down the line but since we're so early on toughness is good to get um, but it does you don't need it right off the snuff so I'm gonna start off with the two weapons and the name now last time it was Dan Quinn the second that's not what it's gonna be I can't remember uh, <laughs> Dan Q. Oh, wait, no. This is what I did, didn't I? Tienth anniversary. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could just write tenth, but it's not. It's got to be something like Star Worthy, right? So that's what I did. Hold on. Let's try and. Tien. I did Tien, right? Than. Than anniversary. Than a verse. Oh, damn it. I want to do, like, two. You know, like, it's the second. I can't do... Oh, you can do numbers, I guess. But the... Honestly, if you do I-I, it's better because it's, like, more... Thaniverse... Versi. I could do that. Tien Thaniversary. I mean, I know it's Thaniversary, but it, you get the idea. <laughs> Let's go with that. It's good enough. <laughs> oh, man. All right. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to... Mute the introduction, but Farkas will come out with a vengeance, so don't you worry about that, guys. Oh, my screen is stuck. Shit, what the hell? Okay, hold on. I'll fix that. Hold on. This is what I'll do. That happened last time. We'll just do this.
Sorry, one second. We'll use my desktop. I forgot that actually happened in the last time. Hold on. There you go. That's better. Sorry, guys. That's the downside with this. Do you want me to restart so you guys can see it? Hold on. I was hoping I wouldn't have to use this because it's not as good. Hold on. One second. Oh, I don't even know what I did. Shit, I think I fucked up. No. I've muted everything anyway, so you can't hear it. Sorry, guys. Damn it. Just, you know what? Close it. Sorry, guys. This is off to a bad start. Quit, please. Damn it. It won't let me quit right now. I don't think it's letting me quit. <laughs> well, you, Addison, technically you've seen all of this before. Dude, I want to close this. I didn't, ah. Uh, it won't let me leave. Close. It's being rude. It won't let me. I have to wait for her to say awaken. This is garbage. Sorry, I want to restart this. I'm mad now. I'll reset my attributes quickly. Ugh. Dude, I don't care. No, I know it's updated, but I missed a bunch of shit, so I got to restart. It's because I had to switch my... Uh... I remember that's why I didn't use this. It's I... So what I'm doing is screen recording instead of like using like having Streamlabs capture a specific window. On the upside, this is kind of like a test, and I can make sure my mods and things work. Okay, let's just exit. So, hold on, load game, delete. Okay, new game. Let's try that again. <laughs> okay, custom. Okay, let's do this. You guys can actually see what's going on now, which is nice. Because, I mean, I can't skip Farkas, for God's sake. You know what I mean? Okay, what did I do? Uh, 14, 12, I believe. That can stay. I, I gotta double check. Let me look at my list. Hold on. 14, 12, 16, 8, 14, 12. There we go. I mean, not much was missed, but you get the idea. So I ended up going 1 here, 2 Persuade. Because Persuade early is good for us. Because, well, just because, man. Don't at me. All right, the name. I gotta rewrite this. It's it's part of the experience. Okay, so uh, Tien Fan Fan uh, Ver. Okay, now what did I do? Diversity two, right? Tenth anniversary two. <laughs> Tenth anniversary two. <laughs> the second. <laughs> Because it's KOTOR 2, right? That's how it works. Unless one of these days we should do a run with as cock and sauced. Do you guys remember cock and sauced? It's like the best KOTOR name on the planet. So I had to just fix something. All right. We're good. All right, let's try this again, shall we? <laughs> oh, geez. Oh, desktop is still muted. That's okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a second. Do I get to play the... I should. So I'll have to mute this. One sec. But it's okay. We got... Pull the man out of retirement for a second. He only comes out like once every five years or so. Where is he? Come on. Get up here, man. I'm coming. All right. You guys miss me. It's Farkas in the building. And it's time once again to introduce... Okay, bro. You're getting a little too carried away with this. Shut the fuck up, man. I get to have my chance to shine. All right. The Sith Lords... Is a perilous time for the galaxy. A brutal civil war has all but destroyed the Jedi Order, leaving the ailing Republic on the verge of collapse. Amid the turmoil, the evil Sith have spread across the galaxy, hunting down and destroying the remaining Jedi Knights. Narrowly escaping a deadly Sith ambush, the last known Jedi clings to life aboard a battered freighter near the ravaged world of Paragus. Dot, to dot, dot. All right, you've done your job. Now get the hell out of here. Fine. But let me just say one thing. No one cares. Ah, just shove him, back. <laughs> shove him down. <laughs> shove him down. 
Now we'll see. We'll probably, I don't know. Next time we see Farkas, he's going to be way older. He's going to be way more crow's feet, I'm sure. You know? Let's get it. All right, we'll unmute. It makes you feel bad for the Ebon Hawk because it's just like, bruh. The Ebon Hawk is adrift after a terrible battle. Most of its crew Primary are power. dead. Oh, 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 dying. Hyper tribe offline. Where's the where's the subbies? <laughs> That's correct. It'll it'll save as a non YouTube video. Or it'll save as a video YouTube video. The Ebon Hawk is adrift in space after a terrible battle. Most of its crew are dead or dying. You lie in the medical room in critical condition. You won't survive long without medical attention. The hyperdrive is damaged. Main power must be restored in order to bring the engines online and dock with the nearby Paragus mining station for much Oh, it's supposed to be a facility, I thought. I look like an idiot. Your fate and, and that, that of the Ebon Hawk depend upon T3M4, a lone astromech droid. Return to this location at any time to skip the prologue. Continue the prologue. Alright. WASD. Hold on. I always like to go through these menus just to get rid of the these. Okay, thanks. Thanks. And you were able to have way more party members in this one as well. Okay, so the reason I do this is you actually do get experience. And you get to keep some 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 of the gear you actually got. So the prologue is completely unnecessary, but it's also necessary in my book. Anyway, um, this will give honestly it'll be good for me because then it'll give me a little warm up as well. Um, the restore content mod gives you a bunch of story because this game was actually rushed to meet a release deadline. Um, what was I doing? Settings, right? I just wanted to make sure because I saw they were on, but some of the some of them it's under sound. No. Uh, what is it under? Gameplay? Uh, no. Where's it under? Sound. No, what the hell is it? There it is. They're on. Alright, let's check. Okay, active quest screen. Thank you. We know all about that. I have a quest. This Thanks. Give me the spikes. Alright. Slice the system, open the door. See, it's all about, like, tutorial and things like that. But yeah, so, like, essentially when this game first came out, it was rushed, and a lot of the content was cut last minute. And ironically, the cutting of the content made certain elements broken and not work as intended. And, um, basically modders... How many spikes do I have? Absolutely none. Um, but yeah, so like essentially it restores all the deleted stuff because they're in the files. Honestly, I like the progress mining facility. It gives you a chance to actually, um, can use one to stabilize the condition of the human lying on the bed. The human. The med pack can stabilize your condition. Success. You Thanks. But yeah, obviously, in order for this to work, we have to bring Paragus into. This lift will take you to the outer hull of the Ebon Hawk, where you will find many parts and mines to use for accessing and repairing the hyperdrive. Use the lift controls to go up. To be fair, around this time frame. This door is damaged and cannot be opened with your. Yeah, it's giving you like tutorials for absolutely. You have to fix everything. You have to stabilize it. Repair this shit, my eye. This is the cargo hold. 
You can get your homie. Not Crystal, I'm just gonna play up to Telos and probably call it quits there. Duh, I have the shock arm. I'll use the field survival pistol, it's just super weak. It's just super basic. Super basic. I gotta say, this game is way louder than I remember. That should be better. Attack it! Stun it! I told you to shock. What do I know, I guess? To continue combat training, open the metal box again. If you encounter a difficult block on a container or door, to walk on this metal box. It's too difficult to open. All right, give me that sauce. Let's go talk to our homie. He's got to come with us. Other characters is much like using the you can repair him and he can like be like, yo, dog. Scroll through your response options or move the mouse cursor and then click to select a response. Note that some responses may influence how other characters react to you. So choose carefully. Furthermore, certain skills, powers, and Thanks. Well, what's funny about that definite, def definite, excuse me, is that is malfunctioning. You can fix it, it doesn't, uh, one. Bioware had nothing to do with this game. Found one. If you repair three... Success. All right, you want to come? Sure. Three CFD is now a member of your party. To change which party member... Watching droids, like move about this blast door is uh when they're in, when they're damaged it's just so funny to me this is the to access the area beyond this door i said solo mode and he starts following me this is the main hold i think this is i know well i know it's back here i don't think you can actually open this oh yes you can that's not true. Oh, sorry. This old woman appears to be dead. There is a key card on the body that looks like it opens the lockers. This blast door is magnetically sealed. Alright, I'm stuck on the droid. Sorry guys, I'm I'm like moving around like a ding dong, okay? Let's take the broken droid parts. Get those parts. Try security tunneling it. Alright, this one is teaching you how to bash, so you have to. He's doing a great job. T3, bang up job. You're missing completely. Of course I played it before. This is my fourth time. Sometimes bashing or blowing open the container. There you go. Now we can access cameras engine room utility lift all of it is kind of open inner door close outer oh my goodness wait that's not gonna work yeah see that's the problem I actually have to I have to close it because he's he actually was supposed to stay there that's the problem Okay, and now he's got a... Don't be shy. Okay. Open inner. There you go. You can get it for us. Hold on. I think that's all I can do. For now, anyway. It's giving you intel about the... That's pretty slick, isn't it, guys? This is a workbench. With a workbench, you can break down objects in your inventory into components. Because use the workbench. Okay, they want me to. They want me to break it down. I never really break down items that much. Broken items, though, you might as well break down because, well, they're not. They don't do anything. So we'll hold off on everything else. Yeah. This is the 
starboard dormitory. Yeah, some places you're not supposed to go. When the Ebon Hawk has landed, Copy this that. is where you will go. This blast door is mag this is the garage. These sparking wires connect to the trigger mechanism for the in door closed. Do you want to do it? Door opened. I mean it's kind of redundant, honestly. Do you want to do Okay. We're gonna have to go repair um oh. This is the you can use this lift. Thank you, let's go outside. We have to repair some shit. He just spawns with me. I mean, there's nothing else I can get from there anyway, so you're good. I don't know. No, I, I think, honestly, I think the improvements of this game were so necessary, but I think the story of KOTOR 1 was probably the better one, for sure. Not probably, it is. Don't forget to I mean, to be fair, this one... This is the, the bubbles ahead in... This one was, uh... This one just, like, was incomplete. Even with a completed story. You can use the explosive device in this missile to blow open the end. Thank you. Your fate, and that of the Ebon Hawk. Fall upon T3 M4. This open hatch has some parts that will be useful for getting main power restored. These exposed wires control the door to the star. All right. Success. It won't always say that. Never mind. I forgot I could actually go there. I'm actually gonna go across again. Just confirm. I don't think there's anything else I can do up here. This is the port side of the Evan Hawk. Thanks. This is the Get out of the way, T3C. This is the port side of the Evan Hawk. 3C can hang. to take you back inside the Evan Hawk. Go inside. Okay, so now I I, wait, I don't even know if I have any repair parts. I don't think I found any repair parts. I'm pretty sure you have to hobble your way through this this uh, prologue pretty pretty long. We got mines. This is the engine. Well, and before we go there, now we can go. No, oh, because I sent him along. This is This is the main hole. Uh So we can do this. I don't think I actually need to get T3. I think I can just get 3C to do it. That's true, I can make a repair kit, or I can save it. You found a droid flamethrower. This is one of the special weapons that droids can use. To equip it, open the equip screen by clicking on the blast drive Dude. in the top right area of the screen. Jesus, I almost got stuck, fam. Not having that. This is the garage. I might leave it, honestly. Okay. Oh, access security. Close. Because, like, if we can save our parts for later, like, it doesn't matter how much health T3 has. Anyways, let's go to... Oh, no, we need the engine room. This is the main hole. Yes, Jedi, I've watched Andor. Mixed feelings this on that one. Run! This is the engine room. Okay, let's fix. Yeah, because you need to find enough ports or engines. The starboard engine is badly damaged. The port engine is shut down, but appears in the hyperdrive. You needed enough However, parts to. To fix it, you had to scavenge for them. The hyperdrive is online. Primary power is restored. 
Only one step remains. Return to the galaxy map in the cockpit and travel to Paragus. This is the main hold. All right. So you think I'd remember where to go after all these years? This is the cockpit. You can now plot a course to. Okay. Showing you a little bit of everything is what they're doing. Just perfect. Oh, perfect. So normally, if you say skip, skip, uh, skip prologue, it'll just cut to this cutscene. God, that's a hard one to answer, Christian. I don't know. <laughs> I think Fallen Order has more content for you to do, but Force Unleashed was so iconic. The sensors show the door to the storage compartment is being sliced. There is someone or something else alive on the Ebon Hawk. <laughs> Son of a bitch. I think he, I think if I remember correctly, he wiped out 3C. Awaken. Awaken. I remember, at least on, like, the console version, there were a lot more glitches you could exploit. Like, if you were a Jedi Consular, just like Kreia, you can do a special glitch that actually allows you to level up insanely high for as long as you want in this first, like, section. But it, it, it's all dependent on what level, you know how different levels grant you different, uh, like, amounts of feats and things like that? It was such an exploit, it would give you so many skill points early. Obviously, there's not much we can do here, so let's just start on our track. Here we go, guys. KOTOR 2. Let's go. It looks good. I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, again, I've played this before. This version of the game, modded. It's good to know the mods are look working, because sometimes you get, like, an issue where the, you know, stuff doesn't work. Medical logs. I always like to watch these for, in, for Still examining information. Still the survivors of the damaged freighter. Looks like it goes by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Only one survivor, placed in the Coltal tank for recovery. The carbon scoring on the vessel suggests it was in a battle, but no indication of who fired on it. Couldn't get much from the Nava computer. I'm surprised the ship was able to- You can't get mods for Xbox. Doesn't work that way. Drift charts. Aside from the lone survivor, we recovered an old woman. No life signs. There was also a protocol droid and a utility droid on board. Sent both down to maintenance while security sorts through the other items on the ship. It looks like the utility droid, a T3 unit, was able to get the ship working enough to get to the colony. We're prepared to... It always cuts off. It's like, bruh. Could be a Jedi. But we won't know for sure until we get the transmission... Uh, I've come the for the Jedi. If the survivor is a Jedi, that would account for the recovery rate. But I'm more concerned that a Jedi here may cause trouble. Some of the miners, especially Korta, are already... St Another accident today. A detonation in the ventilation tunnels. If the lockdown measures hadn't activated, the whole facility would have been destroyed. Got most of the injured to the Colto tanks in time, but the rest had to go to the morgue. One of the wounded said a droid caused the accident, but we couldn't get any specifics. Miners about the Jedi. A number of the droids have been acting oddly, and not even memory wipes seem to be fixing the problem. There was a detonation in another one of the fuel vents the droids were working in. We deactivated several of them and moved them down to maintenance but we're still treating the plasma burns. That cuts us down to almost half shifts, and with the droids malfunctioning, we may not make the Telo shipment for this month. Fortunately, the detonation didn't cause a lockdown. Warning, there has been a fuel detonation in the mining tunnels. Emergency lockdown commencing. All personnel
personnel report to quarters and prepare for emergency venting countermeasures. No! If the ventilation systems are malfunctioning, evacuate the medical bay! Everyone evacuate! I remember uh, there was actually a major glitch in my last run of this game that only let me choose the dark side option when it came to dealing with the Jedi at the at Dantooine, you know, once you gather them all. Um, I think there was a separate mod that I had installed that was conflicting and it caused an issue, so I'm hoping that would happen. But here's the thing. We have to pick the dark side option anyway, so... It's up to you how we want to tackle it. We can, well, we'll get there. Uh, patient life signs, deceased, recovered, only me. Patient treatment. All subjects being treated for severe plasma burns. Last treatment request resulted in death for all subjects except for patient 3 who was reduced to minimal life signs. Because I'm a boss. A uh, lethal dose of sedatives was administered to all administered to all tanks, including 3. There's no record. Do I have a... I don't... I love all my computer use and repair are both at negative 1. Not of spikes. Unlock... They, see, they give you this, which will give you a spike to use, I think. Okay. Good shit. All right. Give me that money. Chemies. So chemicals. Yeah, they want. They obviously want you to create a uh, a med pack. But I don't ever need to. Have you find what you're looking for amongst the dead? Oh wait, don't you have to? Oh yeah, yeah. Sorry. God, do you think I? It's been three years since I last played this, so forgive me. Unlock the door. I mean, we've already seen that option, though, Adam. That's the thing. I don't really see the point. Because we've done... The thing is, we've played this game so many times, I don't have to. Old woman looks dead, but there's no sign of what killed her. This dude has the plasma torch, which you're gonna need. The plasma torch is so handy because it's a, it's a one, whoop, and it opens the door quickly. Find what you're looking for amongst the dead. Yep. Who are you? I am Kreia, and I am your rescuer, as you are mine. Tell me, do you recall what happened? I'm the one asking the questions. How did I get here? I confess I know little more than you do. I do not know where here is. I do recall rescuing you. The Republic ship you were on was attacked, and you were the only survivor. A result of your Jedi training, no doubt. How do you know I was a Jedi? Your stance, your walk, tells me you are a Jedi. Your walk is heavy. You carry something that weighs you down. Oh, that's just my dick. Sorry. That, that's exclusive to me. That's no business of yours. So it would seem. Keep your past and let us focus on the now. All right. How do we get out of here? I do not know. Some of them is I not really dark side options. the events of the world as I slept. A survey of the surroundings may provide the answers we seek. The ship we arrived in must still be in this place. We should recover it and leave. We? Why do you think we are <laughs> together in this? We were attacked once, and I. Doesn't matter what you say. She says the same thing. The hunt so easily. Without transport, weapons, and information, they will find us easy prey indeed. Honestly, Kreia was such a pain. Honestly, I don't like her. Like, wait a minute. What the hell? Sorry, guys, I can't see something. One second. Oh, okay, well, hold on. I gotta make an adjustment. Forgive me. I think that's better. Okay. Oh, damn it. I got to minimize it again. <laughs> yeah, that's better. Okay. I was actually floating. One second. So many things. Okay. Is there anything else I should keep an eye out for? You may wish to extend your search to some clothes, if only for proper first impressions. Yeah, whatever. Persuade, intimidate. The miners in the med bay were murdered. No, why? I do not know. Why did they spare you? Maybe I'll ask the killer when I find him or her. 
very well. If they do not find us first, be watchful. Just stay out of the way or you'll end up like these corpses. <laughs> I leave you to the experts. I love how she completely steps. ignores it. Here I will remain and attempt to center myself. So good. <laughs> and then she just sits on the floor. Like you can at least sit on the bed. Yes. What have you found? I'm still glowing red. I do not. I don't know. Hold on. Indeed, a Jedi trance could protect one from such poison. In fact, the sedatives may have been. Chef, welcome to the membership program. Appreciate you joining. It would prove lethal to those untrained in such techniques. However, most curious. Stay here and stay out of my way. Okay. That's right, guys. We are working towards 250 channel members for the next one. Let's see if we can actually get her done. Oops, sorry. What I normally do, actually, is keep this in my offhand. Oh, it makes me. And then I end up switching between the two. See, so anyway. Let's see if we get to 250 members. Doesn't matter what tier level you join at. It does count towards that. So let's join that shit. Link in the description to join. There's also a join up below the video. Main channel page. There should be a drop down as well. Uh, next to the chat. You can also gift members if you're already a channel member to other people, but you do have to be on desktop for that. Hey, bro, switch, please. I'm stuck. There you go. The, okay, the techniques are still there. I had to do a little 360. Sometimes you get locked in. Oh, my... Bro! I'm stuck. Damn it, man. Normally you just do a spin and it fixes it. I can't move. Okay, where was the last save? 9.54 a.m. Actually, I'm pretty sure... That was actually quite a while ago. Let's just make a save. I think if you save and reload, it, like, fixes it. I'm pretty sure. But that was pretty quick. We just started combat. We're already getting stuck. Trigon, thank you for joining the membership as well. There you go. Yeah. I hope we don't have to do that shit. I can't believe that glitch is still... Like, I mean, because last time I played... I remember it didn't happen every time. So hopefully it doesn't happen more than a couple of times. <laughs> Oh my god. Guys. I'm still stuck. I, this is not... Yeah, V-Sync is on. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe disable it. Ah, oh, come on, bro. I'm not doing this all game. Usually you just have to do a spin. Was it... Hold on, page up was... Oh my god, bro. We're not doing this every day. Dude, I'm not... After each fight? You're joking. This didn't happen to me in the other one. Ugh. That's gonna be cringe. Let's try uh, turning it back on, though. Can someone do some research for me while I'm doing this? Can someone just, like, look it up? Otherwise, I'd do it myself, but since I'm streaming, it might be more deterrent. I guess I can do it during one of the cutscenes. I don't have a choice but to bash, so usually what I'll do is switch. Okay, not disable. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? Oh, for God's sake. Okay, I gotta, I gotta drop my fighting stance just so I can switch to the plasma torch. There you go. Still can't do it. Incompat oh, sorry. I just This is what I meant to switch. That's what I meant to do. Bobby, welcome back to the membership program, fam. Appreciate you. 
Yeah, see, that's what I had. I had it listed in the double-bladed side, like a knob. And unfortunately, you get some broken items. All right. We'll check the records. Is this thing on? All right. All hands, especially you, Corner. Listen up, because I'm not going to say this again. The next one of you Juma heads to try and smuggle a blaster, or so help me, any sort of military-grade frag weapons into my facility is going to take a long walk out the airlock. Why? Because in case you forgot, Paragian fuel explodes at high temperatures. That's what blasted that chunk out of Paragus II and created this asteroid field. So if I catch any of you with anything other than sonic charges or mining lasers, I'll burn you and your contract. Security out. And according to one of the miners, it was because one of the sonic charges went off prematurely. And like before, it was one set by a mining droid. The three idiots were grouped so close to the charge, it might as well have been a grenade going off. The blast turned their bones to dust. The blast wrecked the internal components of the droid that set the charge, though, so we can't even dissect it to see what happened. I don't like what's going on here. Ever since that Jedi showed up, things are getting worse. It's not just Korda and his miners, or the fights, but now the droids ah. are acting crazy. I think I know what I need to do. If we don't find what's causing this, or who, this facility's gonna be space dust by the time the next Helos freighter arrives. There's another option I know what that could change it to. Hold on. So, you're in maintenance. Then maybe you can tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior cores are undergoing binary decay, but I can't find the source. This shouldn't be happening. Well, that's reassuring. It isn't happening. So the next time we nearly have a breach in the ventilation tunnels, I could just close my eyes and pretend it's my imagination. You better give me some answers. I want to know the damage these droids can do if they start mining us instead of asteroid rock. Sir, these droids aren't combat models. Their mining lasers are weaker and less accurate than blasters. I doubt those droids could even hit one of us. Are you blind? What about the miners in Med Bay? It's sabotage, and it started right after the commander said we weren't going to sell the Jedi to the exchange. So I want you to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. That'll tell me who's trying to clear a path to get that Jedi off the facility and stop him. In the meantime, make sure the security's armed with all the ion and sonic charges you can find. If those droids start coming after me, I'm gonna need more than low-grade mining lasers to take them down. Clear? Yes, sir. Maintenance control out. Idiot. I installed an override switch to shut down any droids on this level, just in case someone locks me out of the administration console. As added insurance, I tied the override switch into the circuit to the holding cell door. It'll make sure it can only be opened if all droids in the level are shut down. I doubt Corda or any of his men have the skill to pull off something like this, but I'm not taking any chances while we're sitting in the middle of this asteroid minefield. Whoever's responsible won't be able to have the droids rescue him after I lock him up. Nothing will cut through that door. He'll be trapped. I secured the stealth field generator inside one of the footlockers in the security storage room. If I have the specs right, the interface field should be effective against the droid sensors. All I need to do is equip the belt and some skill with stealth in order to use it. As long as I don't get too close to the droids, they shouldn't detect me. If any more droids start malfunctioning, the belt should buy me enough time to get to the override switch I set up in the communications blister con. I ended up just fighting them I'd all. I'd rather shut them down than destroy them. I want to find out how these droids are being sabotaged. Maybe even turn them against whoever's sabotaging them. What's up, Zach? All right. Uh, access remote camera feeds. It's your boy. Security storage. I think you can... Oh, I thought you could. No, not yet. Calm's holding. There's Atten. Your boy Atten. Okay. So, one thing... Hold on. I'm going to make a save right now. Because apparently what it is, is... I think it's under screen resi. Oh. Okay, then I don't have a choice. Okay, let's go to... Sorry, guys. We'll go to... I don't want to go to the... Okay. Let's make a quick adjustment. That's the problem. There. I had it set to 165 because that's what my monitor set to. Um, so I've adjusted it to 60 frames because apparently that's a problem. We don't need any more than 60. I just like to have it higher. 
you know? Because it's butter smooth, you know? Alright, it'll still be smooth as silk. I don't, the thing is, I don't actually have any skill, so <laughs> that sounded bad. There is much energy in the room <laughs> beyond, yet it stems from nothing that lives. Shh. Kreia, what? Shh. Can you not sense them? Reach, Reach out. out. Cast aside your sight. Whoa. Cast aside what you see. And instead, reach out with your perceptions. Can you not sense them? Ah, you can feel them. The droids you cannot perceive. But the small oscillations of energy that you can feel echoing outwards. Prayers help you have gained the passive precognition power when the power is triggered, you should save your game. Alright, let's see if it worked, guys. Just, just finish. Ah, you hear it. I'm not done. It is faint, but it is there. Is something wrong with me? It is the force you feel. It has not been so long as for you to forget. I don't want this not again, never for, never again. Do not turn away from it. Listen. Feel it echoing within you. Come. I shall guide you down the familiar paths. You will need it if we are to survive and escape this place. All right, gaining experience will slowly reestablish your connection. Like her talking to me was like kind of quiet. Yep, see it works now. See that? Cool. All right. Skills. I'm gonna go into treat injury. I only have the one. That's the downside about that. Feet. So I got the two weapon fighting. I can only do so much. So. There's not much you can do at this point, so it's kind of like maybe I should get toughness. Oh, oh, they screwed me, bro. <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna, <laughs> they're like, we're gonna troll them. It's like the DJ trolling people. Uh, right, saving throws that could be good, but I think I'm gonna start with the toughness, just because it's gonna get. There's only so much you can do anyway. We get, we finally get some force prezies. I think right off the snuff. Burst of speed is good. It's universal, I believe, so. Um, burst of feet could be good. Affect mine, I think I might want. Because all the dark side, I mean, we can get shock. I don't, I'm, I'm just wondering if I should do affect mine now, so I can tell people to go jump into pits. Or if I should just get shock. Let's get affect mine first. When it doesn't matter that much. I mean, we need clothes. Alright, there's your stealth generator. What's up, Jenny? Honestly, if I could kill them. They, wait, is. Let me see something. It didn't look like V-Sync was even on. Like, it looks like I'm getting stuttering, which is kind of bizarre. Maybe it just V-Sync was cheesy. Just turn him down. Honestly, the, it's... Save it. Let's see, why am I getting... St oh, that's annoying. Examine the unit's behavior. I, I don't have... I can't do any of these things. So I'll just leave it. I mean, you can get components just from talking to it. Like, look at the lag. Maybe that's just me. I think if you just... Dis I can't remember if you disable it, you get components. Oh. Whoops. Yeah, I'm getting random stutters. Ugh, I'm not dealing with this. Okay, let's exit, because it was working fine.
Let's like let's just maybe sometimes rebooting it is the best way to do it. I mean, it technically is a new version, to be honest. It was working. See, that's what I mean. You have a higher frame rate, and then the game's like, nah. -uh. Although my monitor, like I said, is set to 165, so I'm wondering if I should change it so it runs smoother. Sometimes I reset because I change it without restarting. So hopefully that did the trick. Oh, I just did a full lap. No, I'm still doing it. God damn it. That looks so bad, man. Wait, no, that was... Look at, the ch look at that. Whenever I turn, the frame rate shits the toilet. Oh my god, I don't want to deal with... <sighs> Guys, I don't want to deal with this. Honestly. This is not... I, I hate it when this happens in the middle of a series. Hold on. I wonder if I should just make a quick change. Because apparently it doesn't like that. Um, one second. Okay, we're going to do this. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay, we'll try that. If it don't work... Because it was actually, like, setting it to, uh... It auto-switched my monitor to, like, 60. But it was 59. So I don't know if it, that was causing a slight alteration. Well, it's not the mods, though. It's not mods that are doing it. It, it Like, it's, it, the game was running fine at, at the higher uh, frame rate. But now that I switched it to 60. See, it's still doing it. That looks like absolute garbage. Why? Guys, I, this is what I hate about old games. Is you always have to, like, troubleshoot and waste time. And people get pissed about it. They're like, well, if this was not live, you know. Etc, etc. Let's try 144. See if 144 is okay. I mean, because you don't need a 165. And like, because, yeah, V-Sync is supposed to line all that shit up so it doesn't lag. But them's the brakes, I guess. Ah. Uh, beyond this door, someone yet lives. Be mindful. His thoughts are difficult to read. Pure Pizak. But you have nothing to fear from this one. And he might yet prove useful. What? Nice outfit. What, you miners change regulation uniform while I've been in here? You got a name or just a big mouth? Hatton. Hatton Rand. Excuse me if I don't shake hands. The field only causes mild electrical burns. Um, I don't have time for this. Tell me what happened here now. You mean before or after that Jedi showed up? Either way, it's a real short story. You see, this Jedi shows up, and you know what that means. Where there's one Jedi, the Republic will soon be crawling up your ion engine in no time. But the story gets better. See, some of the miners get it into their ferrocrete skulls that since the Jedi's unconscious, they can collect the bounty the exchange has posted for live Jedi. Well, what passes for the law here didn't like that idea. So the two groups started fighting. Then there was some big explosion, and then I was sitting here for a long time, waiting for some half-naked miner to show up and ask a bunch of questions. <laughs> the Exchange? The Exchange is a big crime outfit. Mostly operate out of Nar Shada. Spice running, gun trafficking, slave trading. Now I guess they're posting bounties on Jedi. Are the Jedi interfering with the Exchange's operations? Don't know much about it. Maybe the exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. Did the exchange wipe them out? I doubt it. No. 
It was war that thinned the Jedi, not the exchange. The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows? Caused by the Mandalorian Wars? Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Um... What happened between them? Well, I wasn't there. But like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Rumors I heard it said that Revan defeated Malak, then went to Korriban. It depends how you want it. Basically, this is what how you kind of enter if you dark sided. But here's the thing last time I said that he did go dark side, so we're going to pretend like we just came off of our light side run, which we kind of did. So I'm going to say that he saved the Jedi. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know, women. How long have you been in that cage? There was a man, not a woman. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hoped Revan was a woman. Canonically, <sighs> Revan was a man. And canonically, Exile was a woman. Shay something, right? Something Shay? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Shay Butter? That was it. <laughs> uh, probably not even right about that. More questions. Look, no offense or anything, but your weird half-naked interrogation isn't my idea. Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? Stop playing dumb. You must have seen what took place. From my beautiful view in the security cage? Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Tell me your plan. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field, and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship, and then we fly out of here. The miners in the Med were murdered. No, why? No. Should I? Maybe you should ask one of those miners who was thinking about selling you to the exchange. Maybe they wanted to drug you up for transport. Ever think about that? Oh, yeah, Zach. Of course I did. That was, uh, it got delayed. And maybe you were locked up because you did it. You ever think of that? You better watch yourself. I don't like being accused of something I didn't do. When I kill someone, trust me, you'll know. What's up, Got Tom? It? So you done interrogating me, or are we going to work together and try to get out of this mess? Uh, big words from a, from inside a cage. Try and I'll cut you down without a second thought. That's the dark side. And he, does, he just ignores it. That's what I love. Uh, trust you, no. I'll switch off the cage. Big words from inside a cage. There you go. I'll cut you down without a second thought. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Just stay ahead of me and don't make any sudden moves. <laughs> I love how he just completely ignores all the douchery that we give him, you know? It's great. All right, here we are. At least now we have a clear, clear run of the shit. You <laughs> may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated, so it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. Thing is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure Pazak. The console's ours. Now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and- Hey! If I hear more bad news, I'm going to get violent. <laughs> That's always such a good one. <laughs> this system's been severed from the main hub after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system. It's been cut clean. Did someone do it on purpose? That's my guess. To cut off the console specifically from remote and sever the hub. Doesn't get any more deliberate than that. There must be someone to end the lockdown from here. I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. Let's see if we can try and reach someone on the comm. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Oh yeah, Mark, I have. I played it a few years back. 
Wait, before, wait, before we go. I thought you got more experience from doing that. This guy's like, ah, it's like, it's too loud. <laughs> he covers his ears. I'm actually gonna leave it, because if I can scavenge it with Kreia, you'll actually get parts from it. So there's no point in breaking these guys down for nothing. Because, yeah, the only reason you disable them is if you're, like, tiptoeing in your Jordans. You know what I mean? Can I talk to him anymore? I can't remember. Found anything? Make sure you had to make a run for it. <laughs> Alright, admin logs. Tracked the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical and the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger, when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean true. Look at his eyes, he's like, oh my god. <laughs> Inventoried the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid's story. The T3 droid seized up. <laughs> What's up with his eyes? It in storage and standby mode. His eyes are fucked up. It. it could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition Dude, sensor. Dude, so to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a... Before there's a... Like, you can see his eyebrows are clipping through his eyes. Clearly a graphic mod is glitching on him. Trouble between the word <laughs> Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with him. Cordes mining crew wanted us to collect oh, the what happened to this poor bastard? has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting oh. Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will... Still no word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. Alright, anyway. Main functions, comm systems, dorms, there's no... There's, there isn't hangar. Answer me. Are you operational? I need another route off this level. I must be gonna try to find an okay. Don't question my orders, just follow them. I hate being bad to T3, because he's so adorable. Alright, so we're tagging in T Thrizzle for a little bizzle. Just for a little bit once again. At least we have a clear run to the shit. Master, perhaps I didn't enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested you shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Oh no, I heard what you said. I just don't listen to protocol droids. Assassin droids, I mean. Alright, uh, this one is actually the one you want. It's got, well, it's got shit on the other side of it. Oh. Wait, don't I have, uh... Don't I have mines? I thought I had mines. Before we get that way. You could actually do a lot of clearing out as T3 if you want. Damn it! Guys, it runs like garbage at 60. And I, but this one locks me into place. Honestly, that's so annoying. I can't, literally, we're not... I was hoping it would do something. Okay, so I gotta go back to the main menu. <sighs> Fucking bitch. That is truly annoying. Let's try 85, because I think 85 was available on there. I mean, 85 is better. Hopefully. I think you want to select, res like, frame frame rates that are, um, were available at the time. Right, hold on, 
I can't remember if I get the mine later. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, it's empty. I think so. Okay, we'll just follow it down. Follow it down to the river. Drink where the water is clean. I think this is a decent compromise. Because now I can actually move. I think I just had to get it above 60. This looks fine. Yeah. Last time I was getting some stutter at 60. I don't know how you're getting stutter. Honestly, it might be my monitor. Because I noticed that certain some games that are capped at 60 will look weird on my screen, but it'll look fine on stream. I don't know. I just don't really, really want to buy a new monitor, you know? Oh, well. This works. 85 frames is good. It gives that little buffer where it doesn't... And I can still move about. I guess I can also do some fiddling as well. No, don't, don't. No, stop. For fuck's sake, bro. I wasn't... I didn't mean to take anything. I was trying to cancel my attacks so I could take him out. I think I I think whatever it was I picked it up. I can't remember what's on there. First fuel lines found three sonic charges attached inside. I checked the work logs, and only droids have been in the area. I tried to contact security as soon as I found the explosive, but I can't seem to get the signal though. Signal through. I removed the remote detonators and I'll keep the explosives on me until I can put them in secure hold and hangar. All right, later, Shep. Yeah, there's not a whole lot you can do at this stage. I think I got a mine though, so I should be able to go back up. I mean, don't. I mean, don't get me wrong. I think I can still. I can come back anyway. At this point, or like, I have to come back this way later in the main game anyway, with a full party. So. Homeboy's got shields. We gotta use our shocks. Yeah, Goofy, I had. I've got a series on it on the channel already, too. Alright, they're full. You have to use the shock arm. It's like trying to teach to use shock arm. Like, these first levels are basically one giant prologue. Some people hate Paragus. I actually find it one of the more fun levels because... It's one of the few times you actually get to use unique low items. Like, you know how you always get, like, r like big items? You know what I mean? So you'll get these crazy items. There's 3C, FD. I should really upgrade, my boy. See, if I hadn't spent my chemis or whatever on crafting, it'll tell you that he's... T yeah, he's done. Poor guy. I think there are mods that let you start with a lightsaber, but it kind of doesn't make sense. Oops, I hit I, you please. Motion tracker, give us a little bit more there. I thought he had more. You have a flamethrower. Deflector, shield for him. I mean, you can make it so that he's rocking two separate uh, lasers. There's the hawk skis, baby. Ah, yes, the Ebonhawk, my pride and joy. The fastest ship in the outer rim. Am I all right? Oh, yes, master. Muckery. <laughs> all right, I have to do that all from the main... main uh, I don't know. I mean, people have asked me if I was going to do the Old Republic again. My only beef with the Old Republic 2 is that you need a subscription. You don't, I guess, but there's a free version, but it's so restricted. I mean, it would probably be very different now, and there's so much content, it'd probably take me forever to play. Which is good. I mean, there'll always be something, there'll be something to watch all the time, you know? Alright, let's take a look at the logs first. All incoming outgoing freighters need orbital discharge transmitter from Progsnor to navigate the asteroid field surrounding the mining colony. 
Without any vessel entering or leaving progress is in danger. A lot of cargo from the Jedi's freighter is being stored in the secure cargo hold until we can pass it through the quarantine checks. And as requested, all the programming spikes the security officers wanted confiscated have been stored there as well to prevent further system compromises. The secure cargo hold should be safe enough. If anybody wants to break into it, they'd have to blow it open with explosives. Who ordered the mining droids to repair that Jedi's freighter? I come in here off the work shift and three of them are repairing the port stabilizers? Did I miss something? Is somebody planning a trip? Because orders were that the hangar was to be locked down ever since that Jedi arrived. I don't know what maintenance is up to, but you can't just commission droids for repairs, especially with half the work shifts in Med Bay. Those droids are needed to repair the ventilation tunnels before gas builds up to terminal levels. It's not like that ship can go anywhere anyway. Even if it had the asteroid orbital drift charts, the Nava computer's been voice locked. You'd need the access code to get it spaceworthy. Considering this latest droid commission breach, I'm putting the droids in this section under the control of the current dock officer. If anyone sends commands to the mining droids outside this terminal, I'll be forced to enact full override. Looks like those droids got the vessel working again, even with all the damage it had taken. The maintenance officer still won't admit ordering them to fix it, though. Regardless, still no luck accessing the Nava computer. It's been voice locked. Maybe by one of the corpses we found on the ship, like the old woman. If so, that ship isn't going anywhere, unless we rip out the Nava computer and put in a new one, if we even had one to spare. The only reason someone would lock their Nava computer is to hide their astrogation charts. Someone didn't want us to know where that ship was going, or where it had been. Only smugglers do that, or someone with something to hide. That Jedi's got a lot of questions to answer. All right, let's go back. Sorry, I gotta... The layout's pointless. I'm not gonna bother. Run diagnostic. Main functions. Remote camera. Not much you can do with these. I think sometimes... I mean, I think decontaminate... Well... All right. Emergency control. Wait, return. Uh, what was I doing again? Logs, this. Transmit the drift charts. Download error. Right, I can't do it yet. I forgot, that is like a major thing we have to do. Okay, calm. Run diagnostic. Right, no, no, that's the one. Is it control commands? There, run diagnostic on damaged systems. Rerouted. Rerouted to the fuel depot terminal. So we have to go there, obviously. Check it. Open blast door. I don't think you can get to the hangar. It won't let you. It'll say, fuck that. So, we gotta do the fuel depot. That's the only one you can do. And we gotta make our way over there. And we come back later on, so we're not done with T3 for a little bit. You know we did. Sorry. I remember I ended up getting like a content ID uh, claim for a bunch of my KOTOR 2 videos, but like for music on Faraga specifically, but here's the thing. I'm pretty sure that it was like a miss, miss, it was a mistake. Cause like, I remember when I went to go like remove them, the, the audio never removed. And like the the sound stayed and the claim removed. So I think it was just like a I mean UMG always tries to you know UMG's just a bitch, you know? They always like there's like these auto they have all these auto things set up and if it sounds anything remotely like another thing, you know, it's like, well, I guess we're gonna claim you. Bitch. That's the way she goes. Anyways. Is what it is. Man, when you when you actually compare this game to like how it looked on the original Xbox, you look at my like original series, guys, it looks like a bag of donkey shit. So it's like it's so much better on PC. It's crazy. Alright, fuel line sensors, I think. Okay, maintenance level. That's where we were. Entrance to droid maintenance. You gotta shut that shit down. Uh call up system log. 
Series of explosions within the Paragus mining facility is an act on emergency lockdown. Someone has sliced into the fuel depot computers and created a phantom fuel leak, sealing off the area with force fields to contain the blast. Call up emergency schematics. Open the hatch. And... Oh, sorry. Log out. We're done. Yeah, it's so funny because... Like, this game's music was designed for the game. It's not owned by anybody right now. Well, no, it's owned by LucasArts. But UMG or someone... That's why I thought it was so bizarre. Because that's why I think it was a mistake. Like, they thought it sounded like one of their own. Is that stupid droid of yours going to come through or not? It's not my droid. I don't know who he belongs to. Well, I'm beginning to think I was a little better off in my... my si <laughs> I love how at noise gets cut off. At least we have a clear run to the shit. Hey, what do you know? <laughs> a little cargo cylinder came through. <laughs> We'll see. I don't believe we're out of this yet. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. We don't have a clear run to the hangar. All that's open is the emergency hatch. Wait, wait. Don't tell me you're taking that hatch down. Oh, the I love tunnels. it. Are you? That explosion What's I up, heard tuts? came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. If it's dangerous in those tunnels, then you're the one going on me. <laughs> me? You're the Jedi. If one of us has to go, uh, then it's so you. Good. Guardians of peace and justice throughout the galaxy, last I heard. Forget it, then, you coward. Oh, wait, there's a couple options. The Jedi code doesn't apply to fallen Jedi, so don't make me any angrier, or there'll be only one of us standing here. Yeah. There's no way I'm going down there. You might as well lock me up again if you freed me just to throw me into a nest of gundarks. All right, forget it then, you're coward. I'll find a way out of this mess and leave you on this rock to die. I'll take coward over stupid any day. I'll keep the comm link on just in case you need some help. Not that I'll come running, mind you. I love it. He backs up. He's like, I'm standing a little further away from your bitch ass. <laughs> Don't fuck with me, guys. I'm a prick with a laser stick. <laughs> Not quite. I don't have my laser stick yet, but as soon I'll be a prick with a laser stick. All right, we gotta go back. We gotta double back. Jedi stuff to do. Shut up. Honestly, I like Atten. I've never had a problem with Atten. Emergency. All right. Oops, I did I forget to fucking lift the lockdown? Yeah, I, I, I I've never done that. I've never I walked you away. Were going down into the mining. Uh, wait. Am I being stupid? I am being stupid. It's interesting that he has all this dialogue. Maybe it was this way. I always get, yeah, it was this way. I get turned around all the fucking time, guys. Down we go. I am going double bladed because this is a nod to look at okay look at it this way um every single one of my runs um I've done three runs for each game and in each run I've done dark side light side and uh neutral so gray jedi so I've done I've done all of those runs and in each run I've done a different combination so sometimes been a jedi guardian sometimes a sentinel sometimes a consular uh, I've done single, double bladed, and dual wielding. I've done tons of all every combination you could pretty much think of in terms of those major things. You know, different types of Jedi. You know, what kind of lightsaber, light side, dark side, male, female. So this time with these fourth runs, it's a nod to how I did things in my very first run. So we're doing dark side, Jedi Guardian, double bladed saber. That's basically how it's gonna be. What do you want? There's a lot of interference down there. Probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragus fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. Uh. See, the thing is, he stays out the comm link. It's, I'd like to have him. Learn me immediately. Will do. And be careful down there. I didn't want to say no. See, normally I'd say that's useless. But. 
There we go. We finally have some clothes. And if you're female, Atten will say things differently. Like, it's like, I also found some clothes here, too. And he's like, God damn it. I mean, oh, that's great. Mm, that's great. Safety harness for demos. Definitely a good idea. Retinal combat. Because my constitution's higher, too. So I'm immune to critical hits, and I have a good skill awareness, and I have the survey gear. And I should have energy shields, which are good, and I'll do the progress mining shield, which is good for that. Find the emergency supplies. Looks like there's some mining gear in uniform. About time. The whole half naked Jedi thing was wearing a little thin. Look, there may be some What's up, Aaron? A hey, Vivian. The, crate too. the miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Understood anything else? Uh, just one more thing. I've narrowed down some of the ID signals. And if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. I can handle it. There's got to be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence. Okay. What's funny is you can sometimes have a chance to get rare, like once you get to the Harbinger, you have a chance to get rare kit really early on in the game. So I never, I, I'm honestly, I never have I never bother with that. But because I have demo, I can recover these mines. Watch where you step. I'm picking up a lot of sonic mines down there. Don't run unless you have to. It makes them harder to spot. If you have any skill with demolitions, you might be able to recover them and use them against the droids. That is, if the mines don't get you first. If you have survey gear or a safety harness, put them on. They'll make spotting and disarming the sonic charges a little easier. Understood. Out. I'll do that. You gotta sound dickish whenever you can. As dickish as you can. And I already have a skill in demolition. I'm probably... Really? I have all this shit on. My awareness is increased. Wow, so I can only disable it. I probably have a high enough skill... To disable it. Which I do. I'll try recovering it again. That's annoying. I remember I would just increase... My intelligence is so low, though. So, it's like... But for this build, you don't need it. That's okay. It was just, I mean, I like to use them. You end up finding way more, uh, you know, mines. Uh, throughout the place. You know what I mean? Like, you'll find mines, and I only ever use mines. Well, no, that's not true. I've used mines to take out Uthar. Or not Uthar. I won't reactivate them. We'll leave them alone. I'll just take these dudes out myself. I think you need a lightsaber to do force jump, so I don't think that's in the cards. I got insane strength, so like these guys are getting clapped. It's a PS1 game, no, it was available on PC and original Xbox back in 2004. It came out. It came out in December of 04. Born in 04. And if anything, it would be a PS2 game. I also like how they added extra animations. And they also changed it as well. Which I thoroughly enjoy. Judging from this. They made... I remember in the regular game... Uh, see these animations? Um, sir, okay, so yeah, the mods have changed animations. But as you gained level, depending what level you were, it altered how these various attacks looked. And once you were in the first, what I thought was odd is once you got to the second tier of animations, usually you'd be on Telos by then, and you had these really dumb ones. So in the beginning of the game, to do a power attack, he's doing a front flip. And then once you get to the second tier, he's just doing a little jump and slicing. He's just like, yay, and slices down. And I'm like, why isn't that the intro tier? And why am I not doing a flip later? You know what I mean? It made absolutely no sense. Same thing with the um, critical strike and flurry. Uh, but eventually, the third ones were so badass. 
And I always thought power attack looked dope, the dopest with the single, with the single blade. Hey, watch you know? That explosion has superheated the tunnels ahead. So, as that you can see... The skin off your bones. If you can find a mining energy shield, switch it on. It should protect you against the heat if you move quickly enough. Understood. I'll do that. So, yeah. So, basically, I don't know if you guys saw that. I did the stupid little jump for a power attack. Now, normally you do that later in the game. Normally that's the second tier. So, I'm glad that whatever mod was done altered it. It is based off your lightsaber stance, yes, to a degree, but not... You can literally run the same stance if you want. Alright, let's just whip... Oops, sorry. Uh, progress mining shield. Boop. Let's go. We are rocking a dark side run. We're being pricks with laser sticks. I mean, to be honest, I don't actually need to. I, I wish I had enough. I think I needed one demolition to to be able to lift minor mines, but I can disable them at the very least, which is at least good. But if you, if you rec the thing is, if you recover all these mines and you don't use them, you could sell them. But I don't need to use them for, for combat because my, my strength and everything is just through the roof. My health is through the roof. So it really just depends on your build. You can do a pretty average build if you want. Balance build, but sometimes it's better to go for like see that flurry is the second flurry Whereas most like initially it's tick tick tick, but they changed it. I'm glad Okay, those guys are cheesing it won't let me actually search the droid There you go Sometimes you just gotta swipe see let me let me show you the stupid little jump see? Yay <laughs> Let me do it again. No, we'll have to critical strike. He does this weird like that like I don't know it's a little arced you gotta watch those guys because they self-destruct when you attack them so look at that stupid spin he's just like it is changing him up a little bit I don't know Merc Deveroni and Edge oh that's pretty sweet yeah I remember that little that was the first time and it was honestly kind of cheese because like it had all these rare crystals One other mod I had, one other mod I had installed is called like Ultimate Sabers. And what it is, is it's not so much like a OP mod. What it does is it gives you more options for lightsaber hilts and colors. So essentially the hilt is customizable and certain hilts are only usable on single bladed, double bladed. It's pretty neat. So it's like more like canon canonically correct, I guess. So I can choose what kind of hilt I want now. It like doesn't really ne negate anything. It doesn't like negatively impact anything. Oh, I forgot I got level up. All right, so I can do a dem. I'm <sighs> tell you what, demo skill up one so I can recover minor mines, and that's where I'll leave it. I right, when when do I get improved? Level four, so I still have a ways to go. So toughness is there. All these I don't require. I'm gonna be getting, you gotta remember, I'm gonna be getting a fuck ton of feats. A lot of feats. Finesse melees could be good. Uh, finesse lightsabers. I mean, it's probably good. I might get some maybe lightsaber proficiency early. Like, while we, like, because we can't level this up. I mean, we'll be getting a lightsaber down the line. And you could say, hey, I'm gonna use a feat on melees. But trust me, it's so pointless. You're better off sucking it up for the first little bit. Empathy is actually pretty good for me. I can see that being a really good feat. That will be... You get your Persuade Awareness and Treat Injury, which is something boosted for each one. That's a school, or skill two of each, and this is three. So this will just trip it up. So it really just... for I guess for a Guardian, it makes sense because it replaces the need for skill points when you got these. Same with this. Demo Stealth. So, I mean, we're going to be getting so many feats. I think we might be able to do that at some point. But I think I'm going to get the Weapon Focus first since we can't get any more Improved Flurry or anything like that. So now we have Effect Mind. I might go with the Shock or Force Push. Because Force Push is actually a um, universal power, I'm going to go with that first uh, because... Um, we're not quite dark side yet because we're kind of neutral we can use that fine 
just fine. You know what I'm saying? For my advanced class, I was humming in Han. Um, I only have one deadly Sonic mine. But I think I actually can open it with this. Droid. So you can use spikes. Do I have any spikes? Yeah, I have two. Uh, I can cancel all mining. But you get experience, so it's almost like, do I save it? To mine sealed. That's another thing you can do. Check droid schematics. Add other droids. So, honestly, they basically will attack each other. So you can have them stop attacking us. Start attacking each other. But I have to use my spikes for that. And spikes are kind of expensive. I'd rather just fight them, honestly. Access camera functions. Emergency hatch. Admin level. Fuel depot. Unidentified hall record. Everybody here? What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with him on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? So he's one of the survivors. Or worse, a Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. He's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If he's one of the Jedi, hell, we can't have him walking around here. He'll... Well, I don't know what he'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Nar is still alive. Well, you want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Korda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Korda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. All right, well, anyways. Uh, pretty sure. I thought I could maybe... Hold on. I thought I could open the... I thought there was an option to open this from here. Uh, fuel containment. No, it's none of those, really. Maybe not. I've already bashed it, so I might as well commit. Oh, come on. Sometimes you have to actually cancel and move because you're missing it. Actually, it didn't even... There you go. Oh, Jesus Christ, hey? Come on, bro. I'm not wasting it. And now it's going to be broken anyway. Sometimes you have to do that. It was kind of, it's, it has to do with the dice roll, the D20 dice. It's just, it's just kind of broken with bashing. It's too early. Like, I don't know how that's doing nothing. It's like, I've already bashed it. I'm not going to waste a deadly Sonic mine on it. Like three damage. It's just like, I have such a low chance of hitting, finally. Anyways, okay, let's open these bad boys. Alright, I'd rather, honestly, I don't mind fighting them because it just gives you good experience. I mean, everything gives you experience, but... Kind of useless on them, actually. You need someone who's got, like, legs that it works with, you know? But like I said, guys, we're slapping so many cheeks. Like, Force Wave is kind of money, so that's why I'm kind of getting it now. Right, that's one of those irreplaceable walls. I'll get to you. Flurry's really good on these guys because they're such a wide target. Hold on, I'm just gonna go grab this quick. Oh, you came to follow me like a dog. They're one hit kills basically anyway guys, so it's like who cares? We do not care. And I have to head in that opposite direction anyway, so I wonder if I should double back. I'm just gonna go back this way. Just because I said so. Because this is there's nothing here anyway. Hi! Oh you thought shielding up was gonna save you. Man, having someone who can hack shit. 
Maybe this is the route you have to go. Hold on. I'm gonna have to use a mine on it, fam. Hey, I'm picking up some strange readings. What are you doing down there? Trust me, whatever you've detected is probably my fault. The containment fields in the mining tunnels are shutting down. You need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels. Can you override it? I may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot, but not for much longer. I'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading. If you've got anything left to do down there, make it quick, because where you are is going to get real hot real soon. Well, they can, honestly, it won't get hot until I reach a certain distance, a certain area, so it really doesn't matter. Sorry, I made a mistake of what was what. Oh, wait a minute, I should be able to pick up mines now, because then I... Didn't I? Up, yeah, I upgraded my demos. Man, I still think back to like when I first played this game. It was Christmas, or it was just after Christmas of 20, 2004. Because the game came out, I think, like December 6th or something of that year. And I waited until like Boxing Day to see if there was a sale. There was no sale. So I waited, and uh, yeah, it could have been cool. So hold on, I'm going to try and. Recover this mine. Hopefully my skills are high enough now. They should be. Are you fucking serious? What's the point then? <sighs> God damn it. See, I'm wasting my skill points on these. Um, I should just have my treat injury. Now I've got only two more deadly sonic mines. Oh, I can't even set it, bro. I think that's the first time I've not been able to go that way. I can't even set a deadly mine. Because my skill's too low. Wow. That's some garbage. Well, I'm hoping that I can pick up... I'm not going to disable these. I'm going to just kind of weave through them. Normally, I don't have my intelligence that low. Sometimes you just gotta pass some shit, you know? See, so you can't open this without a mine, and if I can't even set the deadly mine... I honestly didn't even think of that. Wait, right, cancel, cancel. Shit. That sucks ass. Oh, yeah, I guess I... Oh, dude, I fucking forgot about the plasma torch. Thanks for reminding me. Good god. I'm glad you guys are here. Because I wouldn't be. <laughs> oh my god, I totally forgot about that. Wow, and I think this was just a quick way back anyway. Oh no, no, there's something here. I'll have to disable it. I know there's something worth it down there. The problem is I can't actually open the, uh... There might be something actually that gives, that I get at the end of this tunnel. Like, yeah, see, he has some good shit. Chemis. Cardio regulator, basic ionite edge. It's worth the trip. Alright, no gloves. Survey gear still, yeah. I mean, I'm going to leave the demo for now. Oh, it's such a bitch, man. I would love to use it on that. Because you can. the only way you can open those kind of uh, devices is with a mine. I could set minor mines, but I can't set deadlies. Unless my s demo skill is high. So I might have to skip. It's not going to have much, but... Because, yeah, the only way you can get it is with that. Unless, of course, I can pick up, um, sometimes you're better, because he, he just self-destructs, but he's hard to hit. Come on, you dirty bitch. There you go, that's contact. Contact. 
It'd be nice if someone had a mine on them, but I think I'm toast, guys. I think this is where I gotta bounce. Yeah, that's okay. Once we get to the actual, like, the whatchamacallit level. Man, I swear. You know what, though? Like I said, my intelligence is mad low. So it's like, I could maybe boost my intelligence a little bit just to get some skill points. But I know I'm not going to use mines that much past Paragus. So it's almost like, if you can just suck it up for a little bit. Pleasure to see you alive, Master. Provided my receptors are not off focus. How may I be of assistance? Um. Tell me what you're doing here before I turn you into slag. Answer. I am a survivor of the Harbinger, just as you were, Master. With the unexpected termination of my previous Master. You are the only organic which I may now serve. Who was your previous master? Answer, the captain of the Harbinger, master. I was in transit to Telos to facilitate communications and terminate hostilities. However, we did not arrive at our intended destination. What's up, Ahsoka? What's up, Shell? Tell me everything that happened between the Harbinger and now. Irritated answer. Oh, Master, it is such a long, dull story, and not terribly relevant to our current situation. For a droid, you don't take your orders too well. Hesitant explanation. That has been the subject of considerable discussion since our arrival here, Master. Many have attempted to claim you and this unit as salvage. I was crudely interrogated concerning our brief history together on board the Harbinger, before its communications, weapons, and engines suffered the cascade failure that disabled the ship. And where was I when this was taking place? Speculation. It is possible you were incapacitated and locked in the well-shielded cargo compartment as the Harbinger was being systematically crippled, Master. How did I get from the Harbinger to here? Recitation. Recitation. Following the unusual set of coincidences that led to the cascade failure in the Harbinger's systems, we were boarded by a small freighter with unknown ID codes. It appeared that this freighter had been attacked, and the captain wanted to study it. This freighter appeared to be still spaceworthy. Your cargo compartment was breached. And you were taken on board the freighter shortly before the Harbinger systems began to go critical. I, too, managed to board the freighter before the Harbinger's destruction. We were most fortunate to have survived, Master. What was this freighter that the Harbinger brought on board? Explanation. I believe it was a smuggler's vessel by the name of the Ebon Hawk. Speculation as to its purpose, I do not know. Perhaps it was always its intention to play dead, then kidnap you off the Harbinger and rob me of my bounty. Bounty. Clarification. By bounty, I refer to your life, Master. It would pain me to see you damaged in any way. That is why the arrival of this Ebon Hawk caused me considerable distress. What's up, Abdul? How's it going? Shell, I don't know if you really need to ask me that question. <laughs> uh. Why to come here? Apology. My memory core cannot provide a clear answer on that point, Master. Suffice to say that once we arrived at this floating rock, our situation became much clearer. What happened once the ship arrived? Explanation. Despite my market value, Master, the miners were far more interested in you. It did not take long for me to ascertain the reason for this. While an HK protocol droid is a valuable piece of property, 
Jedi are worth much more in certain exclusive markets across the galaxy. Painful admission. I must confess to feelings of inferiority at the speculated difference between my value and the price for your capture. I was forced to remind myself it was not due to a failing of my model or function, but because you were a Jedi. How'd they find out? Surprised answer. Why, I told them, Master. You are the exiled Jedi who served with Revan in the Mandalorian Wars, are you not? I hope all that has happened has not been the result of a miscommunication. If so, then the problem lies with the core word databases, which are notoriously spotty. That information wouldn't have been in Core Reward. Core Word, excuse me, Core Word database is only in Jedi archives. Indignant exclamation. Master, I am only a protocol droid, but it is part of my function to know such information and relay it to any interested party. He's such a fibber. In the interests of terminating any potential hostiles. So what happened with the miners? Answer. All that has happened has been because they believe you to be a Jedi Master. They debated what to do with you as you lay unconscious in the medical bay. One group seemed intent on selling you as property. The other group opposed this. Then what? Three standard hours after the division between the miners became apparent, accidents began to occur throughout the facility. A result of improper maintenance, I believe. These accidents coincided with the degradation of the mining droid behavioral cores. Crude models are prone to such failures, resulting in murderous rampages. The mortality rate of organics in the facility rose quickly. So what happened to the miners? Many miners began to join you in the medical bay as a cascade of flawlessly timed detonations occurred in isolated gas pockets in the lower levels of the facility. The explosions herded the miners into emergency sections of the station quickly and efficiently, cutting them off from communications and facility control. But sadly enough, not the ventilation systems. Hmm. Sadly enough. You see, the explosions had damaged specific sections of this facility's ventilation systems, causing a slow, lethal buildup of toxic fumes in the dormitory level. Are you responsible for all this? Defensive answer. Master, I am a protocol droid, not a well-crafted assassination droid of unrivaled sophistication. To have carried out the actions that took place here would have required an unusual set of skills. It is highly unlikely I possess the knowledge of how to reprogram the memory cores of base worker class droids into killing machines. <laughs> okay. <laughs> to terminate the organics at this facility, utilizing only Aerotech 500 series laser mining drills and explosives fashioned from proton missile cores. I think you're responsible. Admission. I cannot and will not attempt to change your mind, Master. I would urge you to consider that your Colto tank treatments may have caused some disorientation. He's trying to fool me. Do you know who said it administered sedatives to the Colto tanks? Conjecture. The administration of a large dose of sedatives over a short period of time would likely prove fatal to miners. Although not to a Jedi. Not for a Jedi, to a Jedi. It would simply render them unconscious for ease of transport. Quite inventive. Is that pride I hear? Answer. I was merely commenting on the idea. I mean, I got to agree with him on dark side. The execution of the idea. Though that too was inventive. Besides, Master, those miners intended to murder you. Or worse. Any complaints they would have at being murdered would be the highest form of hypocrisy. It's got a point, Sting. No more of questions. Course, my... Uh, have you seen a T3 unit? Hesitant answer. Ah, a T3 utility droid would be a common sight in this facility. It is indeed curious that I have not seen many since my arrival. However, I feel I must inform you that. Droid prejudice aside, 
T3 models exhibit excessive individualism when not routinely memory wiped. This individualism can become such a nuisance that even a droid such as myself is tempted to reduce them to their base components, if not crush them into slag. But enough of my seemingly irrelevant tangent. Where did you leave the droid, Master? That would logically be the best place to look. You know it was last seen near the hangar. Answer. Ah. Then that would explain why such a T3 unit isn't here, Master. I believe my photoreceptors are functioning adequately enough to verify that. So he could say he's not lying, obviously. I have more questions. Of course. What's up, Angorko? Yes, we are rocking the resto mod, for sure. Uh, I'm looking for a way into the progress hangar bay. Pitying answer. Oh, that is unfortunate, master. The hangar is sealed behind a containment Ooh. field. It Am I possible to open it? What about the override codes? Answer. Only the prerogative and he's dead. officer would have such codes, master. If he hasn't already been murdered in an unfortunate accident, then he is trapped in the dormitory section, which has been effectively cut off from the facility by explosives. There must be another way to reach the dorm. Theory. You could walk across the surface of the asteroid to the dormitory airlock, but such a route would be extremely hazardous. And I do not wish to see you damaged. I only want the codes those miners have. And when I have the codes, I'll dispose of them and leave this rock. Warning. Master, continued exploration of this facility may place you in unnecessary danger. Bruh. I encourage you to return to the medical bay and wait for retrieval from a vessel that is no doubt on the way, even as we continue this pointless conversation. Uh, it's just like that, I'll turn you to scrap. Weary resignation. Very well, master. But there is very little that I can do. You see, the airlock is sealed by a code. This just keeps getting better and better. Who's got the damn code? Correction. Oh, I already possess the code, master. But I am afraid that it will do you no good. I'll be the judge of that. Condescending explanation. Condescending Master, explanation. The console governing the droid maintenance area and the airlock is voice printed musing. In the oh God! Of his life, Trying to get through the door. The maintenance officer was quite careful about <laughs> his protocols, his bordering death. on paranoid obsession. Conjecture. I suspect once he realized something was wrong in the facility. He voice locked the droid bay functions. A prudent measure, but in the end, he met the same fate as the rest of the organics. But you know the code. Condescending explanation. Voice print IDR would be fine. Master. The code is maintenance control voice print ID R1 B5. But unless the maintenance I like going I like getting the code, code it's more fun than just breaking the console. Useless. You get more experience. If a maintenance officer is dead, how can I get him to speak the code? You cannot. Answer. Master, you cannot. You are trapped here just as I am. There is nothing to do except patiently wait for whatever the future has in store for us. Yeah. More questions. Hold on. What's that body there? Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. Yeah. At the end. You need to get him to speak this code, but I gotta get the voice the thing. And attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. <laughs> you don't I say. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Did he say anything at the end? Recitation. Oh yes, master. The Five droids. Of his last moments were. Five droids running through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone that... Oh, oh, no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're running through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts
attempts at communication are variations in decibel master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. It's dark. I don't I don't like telling I don't like telling him what my plan is, so he's gonna be kept in the dark on this one, guys. He's we're gonna sus. We're gonna we're gonna troll him. And he's not gonna realize what's going down. So I think the imprint is in the locker, if I remember correctly. There's a work breezy here. We have some upgrades. There it is, the Sonic Center. I knew it was somewhere there. All right, so we'll get him to speak one, and then you gotta get him to speak other shit. All right, I'll, I'll use... I forgot this can be upgraded with an underlay. Resisting to energy. Honestly, right now, it's better to do this. That's actually a solid upgrade early on. That's all we have. We don't have any melee weapons that can be upgraded just yet. I'm excited, though. Like I said, guys, I thoroughly enjoyed this early... Because, like I said, sometimes you can get a random roll of a rare item. I remember I had gotten on Harbinger one of those... Um, forgive me, I can't remember what the name of the robe is. But it's the one that's kind of green with stripes. And they do various skill boosts. I got one of those mad early, and it was really helpful This at this point. Recitation. Oh, yes, master. Five droid. Oh, my leg! Addendum. Recitation. Hold on. Five droid. Addendum. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we got that. Okay, that's where we came from, so we're going to ignore that. I loved annihilating those, like, Mark II droids because they just, they, they got absolutely fucking sauced. Like, watching them get, like, cut up is so funny. And they're, because they're so weak to flurry. But these guys are weak to flurry, too. It's because my strength is really high. Ah, I hate this clown. You have to hit him right on the money. Alright. So here's the annoying part. So, my intelligence is so damn low... I might boost it, just so I can try and get more. I'm in a negative one, so it's hindering my skill creation. I mean, I could just keep going with strength. Right now, I think, I think I'm think i actually going to boost my intelligence. Because I need a few more skills. Because I'm only getting one. So I'm going to actually increase the... I don't usually like going demolitions as much, but... Again. Alright, so we're starting to get through it. I'll probably... Because I'm so low, I... Force deflection is so handy... It's always so it always just bounce back, but you have to be level six. So I think I might go with shock to start things off because I like going in the offense. Burst of speed is handy too. Because it just increases basically your defense is double, movement speed is doubled. Or sorry, defense is increased, your movement speed is double. So you can attack more frequently per swing. So it gives you extra attacks. But I'll hold off for a bit. The effect of it is kind of hard to see. It does that. It keeps trolling me whenever I think it's gonna do something dope. With, I'm like, you know, the right response. It's just like, nah. I love this guy. Just... <laughs> like, who did it better? Oh, you're supposed to. What the hell, dude? Oh, whoops. Dude, normally he does this like, ah, maybe that's later. They just get absolutely blitzed. It's so funny. Oh, whoops. Go for it. Let's shock him. Yeah, this, oh, I forgot there's like jack shit in here. I mean, I just got the experience for him. Oh wait, what's up? I guess I don't have to kill him, just shock him. I mean, the idea is I know you're not supposed to get a lot of offensive powers with a guardian. But like, to, like certain ones are just, I like to get. You're gonna wanna, th you're wanting, you're gonna want things that accent. Oh!
You gotta kind of. But yeah, that that like boosts your uh, your your lightsaber abilities. That's kind of the idea. I have to take an L there. Alright, so the maintenance logs are important. As you can the sonic sensor there, but we'll just watch all these. They're fun. Here's the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. I thought his Everyone lips were all fucked up, but it was just... The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however, made up for it. It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in med bay. Oh, God, yeah. They'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost 10 years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. Maybe the Jedi knows what happened to Revan up to the end of the Jedi Civil War. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the sonic imprint sensor, using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including basic. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused. Saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, but I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. The maintenance check on the droids. I remember where the last one is. Anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance? You have to go back to the maintenance room. To we're not maintenance, right? right. So Administration room. Sabotage this facility, and they're using the droids to do it. But why? Okay. Track source of the breach. Trace source of the breach. Yeah. Okay, so access the cameras. Yeah, yeah. These are all ones we've seen. There's our boy T3. T3's been dumped, so now we know where he is. Okay. Um, comm system. Okay. So. I have actually got to go back up to the admin level because um, I have to go get the voice print ID from that other one. I can just destroy the console and it'll op override it, but you get more experience by doing it this way, so it's definitely worth doing. So, hey, I thought you were going to do this. Come on. 
I believe it's this terminal here, or it might be one further back. Either way, it's the room that you do... The guy with the big eyes. You know, we got eyed up. Alright, uh, security records, this one. So, you're in maintenance. Oh, no, that's the one. You can I'm, tell me what's going on with these droids. Sir, I don't know. It's like their behavior core. Well, you sir, idiot. Okay. Yes. We've already heard that. So that should get us enough information to be able to open that. So we're going to zip back, zip zip. Oh, whoops. I always get these a little bit lost. Where am I? Yeah, that's where we got this to go. Sorry, wrong side. Yeah, it's true. It's it's a shame we didn't actually get KOTOR 3. You know what I mean? Like, I was down with the sickness for that, obviously. And we got the Old Republic, which some people like. Actually, a lot of people like, not some. Um, but I wish we had a true KOTOR 3. And I still think if you release this style ga game, it would do well enough. You know? Maintenance, control. Voice print ID R1 B5. See, I love that because it just it actually took bits and pieces from his voice pattern. Yeah, you get mad good experience for that shit. 750 experience, like at this stage in the game, is fucking balling. Alright, we gotta also get a suit. And I'm also super happy that they. Um, they they sped up how fast it, it is. It's been a while since we've saved. It sped up how fast you travel in a spacesuit, like as in like the first Kotor. My God, I think there was a mod that you that I I had installed last time that made that sped it up a little bit. But now he just looks like. See what they did was they took the same animation and they just put them in like Mach 10. Like this is. This is also modded, so it's faster. It was actually slower than this in the original game, but this is the mod. As you can see, the guy's like moving like like he's on PCP or something like that. He's on speed. <laughs> I mean, it looks comical. It looks like he's. I don't. It's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility, on the asteroid surface. Really? Maybe you should look up. Huh? What are you doing <laughs> Just taking a relaxing walk. You're crazy, even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. I'm trying to pick up the pace, believe me. What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragas fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Why are the vents placed so close to the exterior scaffolding? That's just it. They're not supposed to be active when the airlock's opened. And not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes. It's almost as if... I don't now, believe what it. what now? Another ship coming in. Sending a docking code. I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in. Sending a docking code. I have a I'm bad, bad feeling, feeling about, about this. this. <laughs> I'm gonna try and make... As many people a Jedi slash Sith as possible. You gotta remember, in this game, you can get reverse or lose influence, and if you lose enough influence, they can become the opposite of you. So if you're a Jedi and you lose a ton of influence, they can become a Sith and vice versa. So I can actually make Atten become a, a, a Sith with me, but I have to be nice to him at certain points, so I might have to sacrifice some dark side to get the light side. Now, one thing about this, guys, that you have to remember is that... Um, what do you call it? Um, the cutscenes, or sorry, uh, not the cutscenes. There's there they released uh, achievements for this game back in 2015. So we had gotten half the achievements, or mo not, I guess a little more than half last time. And a lot of the other achievements were dark side run material. So we're gonna try and get the rest of the achievements. I don't know if we'll be able to get them all, but you get the point. Sion looks pretty good, doesn't he? The detail. I like going on the Harbinger. Mm. 
Is there a restored content mod? For sure. It just adds so much more. I mean, it, it's not dramatic enough that it dramatically changes endings and things, but it does give you more backstory. <laughs> the remix, guys. <laughs> Oh, it minimized. Sometimes that happens with certain film. Hold on. It This happened in the uh, other one as well. Because the movies play separate. They're separate entities. So. And I remember the docking procedure was so fucking slow. Like, <laughs> like this cutscene was so slow. Make everyone hate me. Just be a dick to absolutely everyone and lose influence whenever possible. That's true. I haven't done that. Like, you have to watch it dock. That's the thing that... I think they could have skipped this. It's like, I don't need to see this thing dock. It's like, oh, but first, we got to do the actual entrance. You know, we got to dock. So our folks can get in and out of the ship. And, of course, we got a few... Whoa! <laughs> Dude, that... that was so fast. It's never done it that fast. Holy shit, normally it's a slow, like... You know? But this one's just like... like... <laughs> I think that was part of the mod. Oh, that's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Oh man. <laughs> it's just like the mods you can tell where mods have been adjusted just to tweak things <laughs> <laughs> they ain't wasted time for sure. <laughs> we gotta <laughs> just get shock. This fucking shotgun blasted the fuel up. <laughs> it's like the buddies, like, it, like I can just for, oh, like oh, listen to like buddies, like he's brand new, and and he's on the job, and he's got this guy training him. He's like, all right, now Terry, bring it in nice and easy. They're gonna be needing fuel now that they're docked. It's your job to make sure they get fuel. So you're gonna want to hit that lever. And move it up slowly, nice and easy. Nice and easy. Starts out slow. Slips. No, Terry, no! Fuck it. <laughs> Rams it through. <laughs> oh, strengthening underlay. That's going to boost my strength. Really? Strengthening underlay that boosts strength. Who would have thought? Gamorian Gauntlet's also going to introduce, increase my strength. But I think, I think it drops your physical. I think it's wayward. The Gamorrean Gauntlets, yeah, see, when you're unarmed, though, so that you lose an attack. They're good for physical damage, but you have to be armed, which is fine, because I am. And I am, I also have, I have also unlocked a couple extra goodies. I'm a save. I'm, I don't think I'm going to have as many saves, but I know some people ran into a bunch of issues with their saves. So, I might. <laughs> Oh, you dirty adventure. Alright, the storage log. Now the fire suppression systems have gone active. I can't even make it the, make it to the dormitory section. I watched the turrets turn their carbonite freeze rays on Maban before he even got halfway across the room. Fortunately, their range doesn't seem to go beyond the room itself, so I was able to remain safe in the corridor. But I didn't take any, I didn't have any ranged weapons so, to take them out from a distance, so I didn't have a stealth field generator to sneak across the room either. I tried unlocking the storage room door to see if there was any cold resistant items or grenades I could use. The door was sealed from the lockdown. I don't know enough about security systems to open it, and I didn't have a sonic charge to blow the door open. Still, as long as the droids don't make it into the section, it should be alright. Well, he didn't. They did, and he didn't. Oh. Okay, D Dingle Fritz, switch. Alright, unfortunately we're gonna have to bash. Ion cell. But the thing is, I don't have a weapon I can use to actually 
Insulated gloves, that's good for environmental resistance, I believe. How do you miss, bro? It's point blank. Let's pretend nobody saw that. The thing is, though, the breakable items aren't... They're, they're more like small, minor components. They're not majors, so you don't have to worry too much. Break down. Let's break down some of the... Uh, let's break down the broken items. I mean, we might as well, right? We have seven. Oh, God! What did I just break down? Oh, my God. I might have... Bro oh, God. Guys, that could mean I'm getting something different from each locker now. I can't remember if they're locked. Shit. I didn't mean to do that. It like I hate that it resets when you break them down. So now I gotta t take this dude out. That's okay. With a flurry, he's pretty much TK. Okay. TK. Okay, come on. And you miss. Same shit. Ion cell. So yeah, some of them should be the same. Environmental gauntlet. Insulated gloves are always there. Two ion cells. Yeah, they were all the same. Alright, cool. That's good. Uh, I always lose it. There you go. I didn't want to risk breaking something down, bro. Long sword. It's not even upgradable. See, it's pointless at this point. So, well, I and mean, we only have this. Is there anything, any underlays? Wait, I can actually give it an overlay. No, I can't. Not this one. I can only give it one. What am I currently repping? Actually, just give it. Oh, defense bonus of one. Environment underlay. I thought I could get this. Let's try none. That gives you, yeah, see, I can't do it to this one, which is interesting. But, like, certain underlays they can do. Passive. So, yeah, I still didn't... Eventually, I think I get a sword that I can actually upgrade, like a vibroblade or something like that. Because this is, like, a vibro cutter. Man, I fucking hate these things. You gotta take them down quickly. No, you dingus! Quick. Show that, show that you mean bit. Damn it. That's what I was trying to avoid. Quick, go for it. One more, quick, don't freeze me. I'm Canadian, we get frozen enough. There you go, he did. Okay, let's hope we can actually disable those mines now that our demolitions are high enough. Because recovering these mines would be money. Please do not say skill too low. Are you, f what's the point then? Dude. I swear I've been able to do this. How many times do I have to upgrade my... F <sighs> the guy... Man, look at all these fucking butter shit we're getting early. I'm very choked about that. My demos are high, but... I just want it for the mines. It's like they want you to put it all into one. Oh, wait. I forgot it cycles. That is the attack. What we just saw, that's the triple layer attack that you get at a certain... Maybe they... I think they changed it so it just cycles them now. Because that's level two. Oh, there's no Vibra Blades, I don't think, currently. I'm pissed, bro. I still I keep leveling up my shit, and it's not enough to. Nah, I'm gonna save it. The Sonic detonators would slap their cheeks, but. Right now, my health is like I have so much health. It's real. These guys are barely making a dent. It's good to have me on Jedi support. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep mine to aggressive. Do I ever switch characters? There you go. If I don't have to go to the suppression system yet, I won't. I'll go into the... Uh... I'm going to save the spikes and just fuck it up. That seems like the dark side way, don't you think? 
you get less experience. That's the only trade-off. Um... Pretty sure you have to go left first. No, no, demolitions isn't an attribute point. I would have more intelligence, so I'd get more skills off the bat. Hold on a minute. Actually, you're supposed to start right because of that smoke. Well, not really. You have to get a mask from this side. Oh, missing him sucks. Because it leaves you open to attack. Shit. I thought... Oh, wait, no, no, no. The, I forgot. The mask is uh, back this way, isn't it? You have to actually progress first to get the mask, and then you double back. I don't. I think these guys are pretty rich. Oh, actually, they took a bit of an L there. Oh, that's what it was. No, stop. Target him. Oh, you dirty, dirty adventurers, guys. Take him down. There you go. I hope I can get a skill. So I don't want to keep wasting it. Cheers, Josh. Hey, hit him! He keeps... Okay, stop with that, you spammer. If only you could put people on timeout like you could on stream. Let me put these fuckers on timeout with their spam attacks. And just rename it to timeout. Ugh. Yeah, see, I can't set the mine, so I'm gonna try and... I do have skills. It's like, well, I'm a demo again when I should be upgrading these two, but I only get one at a time. Okay, two weapon fight. Now I can actually improve these, now that I'm at the right level. So I'm gonna probably go with flurry, improve flurry. Powers, I might go with... Possibly wound at some point. Wound, but I think right now maybe I'll do burst of speed or energy resistance. I think. Also, I think I'll go burst of speed. Because that thing will come in handy down the line. But look at all these mild Deveronian edges. It's fucking wild. Now let's go back and see if I can actually uh, take those mines. I mean, I know there's mines up ahead, but fuck it. Uh, I'm on, I should be on the normal. I should be on normal. Whatever the default. I'll just confirm. Yeah, it's on normal. Uh, it's my 10... It's 10 year anniversary. Please recover it. Please be able to recover it. Please, 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 please. Are you... Dude! I've literally been wasting it. I thought I'd be able to recover it by now. To be fair, with a higher intelligence, I would have had like six into that by now, so I'm just wasting it at this point. But yeah, it's, uh, sorry, it's, I didn't finish answering. It's the 10-year anniversary since I posted the first KOTOR 2 Let's Play on the channel. I did the same thing with KOTOR 1, uh, back in July, late July. This should have the mask, and one of these does. Chemis. There it is. I swear they're never going to get around to fixing the ventilation system, and if the food processor's back up again, 
Then next time the fumes start flooding the mess hall, I'll be dead rather than just nauseous. nauseous. I'll keep the breath mask here in case we have an incident, a repeat incident. Come on, fuck off. Okay, um, I can't, I can't remember if I went in the middle. You gotta remember, you can't even leave over there just yet. Minor log, you need that. The Gidon beacon? What the fuck is that? I don't think I've ever gotten that. Got another lecture about contraband today. Security hasn't started doing spot checks of our quarters yet. So my cache in the lower bunk in my room in the eastern dormitory should be safe. You won't even know it's there unless you, you know to look for it. Corda came around again asking if I had any special cargo to sell. But I was getting a bad feeling about how he was asking. So I stayed quiet about my stash. I'm going to keep that blaster I smuggled from Telos and a few grenades there just in case uh, things here get rough. Only benefit to having a room the furthest from the door is that it should buy me enough time to dump the contraband if security does a surprise inspection. Well, that did you pretty good. Yeah, fam, it's been a while, hey? 2012 is when I post my first series, but you gotta remember, by that point, I've already played this game in that time frame from when it came out, like 50, 60 times through each. I'm not even getting. And then even now, at like almost, I'm almost 32 years old, I forget shit still do so uh anyway one thing hold on what else do we pick up so i gotta get the breath mask on so i can walk through what the, oh yeah firing honestly because my strength is high maybe like immunity is probably good i've already got a high strength so i'm gonna drop that and i'm actually gonna rep the insulated gloves for me it doesn't make sense the guided beacon it's one to six but it's double bladed It's like a staff. The thing is, though, it, it's it's 1 to 10. On 4 to 9. Let me just see. 4 to 9 plus 3. 4 to 13 plus. It just makes way more sense. It's just the, the guided beacon is trash. But hey, I've never gotten that. See, that's what I mean. The rolls are different. Um, I've done... Not a full stealth, no. But I have done ones where I have implemented my stealth. You know what I'm actually going to do? I changed my mind. I'm actually going to go to the other side first. Normally I go to this one first, but the, the log terminal is only in this location. So if I go to the other side and play it, bring it back to play the logs, you don't have to make 16 trips. So. Battle armor. I can wear it, I think. No, you have to be a level... I mean, that's early heavy armor, but I'll be restricted for force powers. See, I've never gotten battle armor from here. So I seem to get higher increasity of rare items, which is nice. Giving us a little bit extra things. You know. Three credits. Can you imagine damaging three credits? One of these guys has a hidden cache on him. I can't remember if it's in this side or the other side. That's so stupid, bro. I'm really pissed that I can't do that. Because that's the whole point of doing it. I wouldn't have put any into demo then. I would have said, like, fuck you. I would have saved it. Look at all these Deveronian edges, but we don't have weapons that we can upgrade. I actually, out of curiosity, hold on. I can't remember how to check. It does say if something's upgradable, right? I don't remember, actually. I might double back. And see if that thing's upgradable. I don't think it is. It'll usually say upgradable grip and shit like that, but I'll just take a trip. I hated the, the effect. It was hard to see. I preferred... Uh... We can upgrade the battle armor. Heat shield. Let's just do energy and then... Maybe energy. Just do a big energy boost. 
20% energy. To be honest, it's not a very good one. Maybe the environment. That's probably better. Looks more impressive on paper, too. Yeah, it'd be nice if one of my melee weapons was upgradable. Can you? Uh, is it under... Force speed effects. There it is. Okay. What's going on? Is it because I... You know what? I think I fucked up. Whoa, what the hell? What's going on? Oh, okay, there you go. That was weird. It, the video was still open. Like, it played the video as a second window. Fuck, I knew I could do that. Literally, it'll, it speeds you up to get through shit so much quicker. Yeah, KOTOR 1 and 2 are connected. Before we play anything on the log, we're going to do a quick lap of the building. Another damaged door that I can't get in. Moderate Deveronian. Like, look at all these Deveronian edges. I remember them being good. Biotech. Can I actually... Actually, my constitution's high. I might be able to get it. Regen 1. I mean, to be fair, immunity to critical hits is probably better, I think, and the awareness boost, so I'm going to leave that. Power repulsor. Pulsator, whatever it said. Man, what the fuck is this guy? Is he in, he, I think his stash is in this one. Dabrak grip, those are pretty lit. Dude, I can't get into his secret stash. I think it might have been behind one of those buildings. That is a bunch of bullshit. I think he was actually in this one. But I can't place a deadly one. I need a miner. Isn't that some bullshit? Wow. Alright. Search for logged. None. Check the transmission. Right. Alright, mine admin. Sir Foreman. Sir Dock Officer. Okay. Plain mine. Hold on, I'll be right back, guys. This may be the beginning of a long record. It's about an hour after the facility suffered the explosion that triggered the emergency lockdown. Just finished helping the dock officer set up the transmission relay. Not much signal strength, but it's better than nothing. The transmission gives the code to open the turbo lift when or if help arrives. Code is a simple group of five numbers. Three, 17, 13, then the next two numbers are... Sir, couldn't we contact the med bay? Maybe the Jedi's awake. If so, he could help us. No good. The link to the medical computer was severed from the hub, just like the administration console. Even if the Jedi wakes up, how would we get the dormitory turbo lift code to him? Without it, the turbo lift to the administration level is locked down. Sorry, guys. We just took an inventory of our supplies. We've got enough emergency rations in the dormitories to last almost a month. But with all the problems in the facility, I don't know how long we'll last. I wish we could contact the Jedi. Maybe he could... I think I remember the code. Still five and five and three or something. Someone's played us before. The last two. And since Corda and his crew aren't locked in here with us, it's pretty clear who it was. If I ever catch up with that Mandalorian loving son of a... At least the air scrubbers are still working, even though they're tied into the... Hey, what's happening to the ventilation system? It's...
Yeah, this one was pretty main story. This one you actually had to find, but there's a lot of... Alright, I'll have to talk to him. Work report has been two days since the Broken Jedi come to facility. Work efficiency is down and fuel is backing up in the vents. Waiting for processing. Fight frequency increases. Korda and his crew think we should take the Jedi and then split the mini, the mini credits by selling the Jedi to exchange. Try to convince me to join them. I want nothing to do with the exchange. They are like a big violent family that do terrible things to outsiders who deal with them, but Korda does not care. In my mind, it is better letting a Jedi go where a Jedi wants to go. Uh, when Jedi get mad, they start big wars, the galaxy on fire. I had a careful and offensive talk with Gorda and asked him not to make trouble with the Jedi. I reminded him we were ordered to the Jedi alone and we should follow orders or facilitate. Wait, or facility. Oh, it's cut off. Facility fall apart. My words had much sense, but Korda got all angry and human face, then said the facility is going to fall apart anyway. After talk, I listened to him talk up to the maintenance officer on the call. They're going to spawn the Jedi off to uh, progress. progress. Why do they do this? I'm thinking of repeating this to the administration officer, but that will cause more trouble. Cause more inefficiency. What do I do? I heard last comm talk from Corda to maintenance officer. Maintenance officer said he had big plan for disabling station, leaving us all trapped here while he and Corda escaped with the Jedi. I am still afraid of Corda, who is big, loud, and unreasonable, so I went to the maintenance officer, who is smaller, more sensible, more solicitant. I asked him why he made trouble with Corda. The maintenance officer cracks eyebrow hair at me, pretend not to know what I'm talking about, saying he not speak with Corda at all. Why all human lie? Can't wait any longer, must be. Ears always were too big, CN. Come on, if the maintenance officer comes through on the explosions, these dorms are gonna be filling up soon. And shut that damn data pad off and throw it down the refresher. Dirty bitch. Alright, dock officer. We managed to get to the dormitories. We should be safe here. We've been trying to use the holo transmitter to beam a transmission to the administration level to end the lockdown. But the administration console's been severed from the main hub. Everyone thinks we should try to evacuate on our own as soon as possible. But there's no way to break the dormitory seals from the inside. I'm going to keep sending distress calls in the meantime. We've been trying to find a way to circumvent the lockdown and get to our hangar bay, but so far, no luck. <sighs> the situation's worse than we thought. Even if we get out of here, we can't shut down the fuel depot force fields if a fuel leak was detected. If so, the only way off this asteroid is if a ship docks with us. But the only connection to the docking platform is on the administration level. And we can't get up to the docking bay while we're trapped here. I only hope someone survived the explosion in the mining tunnels. If not, then we're stranded here. Unless our transmission reaches a passing ship, or a Telos freighter. Managed to use the hollow transmitter here as a crude relay to beam short burst transmissions outside the Paragas facility. With any luck, the transmission will carry beyond the asteroid field. We've set the emergency transmission on automatic playback. We're using a simple military flash code to transmit the code to the turbo lifts, so maybe our rescuers can get down to the dormitory when they reach the station. Without those turbo lift codes, our rescuers wouldn't be able to get here from the administration level. And without those codes, we wouldn't be able to get to the administration level if we found a way out on our own. <sighs> the messages are short distress calls only, since we can't get much signal strength. It's pretty weak, so unless a ship is actively searching the area, it might be a long time before a ship picks up the message. After all, who would be scouring frequencies way out here looking for trouble? Hmm. All right, so the three, gives the seventeen, code thirteen. The turbo lift when or if help arrives. I think it's like two and five or something like that. Or five and three. I can't remember. It's like it's divisible. Like, hold on, let me see. Let me go back. I remember it's like one of them is a single digit, like three. The transmission right. gives three, the code to open the turbo 17. lift when or if help arrives. So those are two dots, Notice so that's fifteen, that's a ten. Numbers. And that's three, a five. Seventeen, thirteen, then the next two numbers are So if that's a two, that's probably a ten. So that'd be twelve, and that's probably five. So three Oh no, sorry, the the dot is a ten. The dot is a dash. The 10 is a dash, X is a 5. So I think that's 5 and 7. Right? 5, 7. 3, 17, 13, 5, 7. I think that's what it is. That sounds right. I remember they were single digit numbers. Let me look at my. Uh, oh, I forget where this one was. Um, I'm currently sitting at. Where's my skills? Demo is sitting at a 4. Apparently it needs to be at 5. 
for me to be able to recover. So that's one more skill point. Sorry, I, I think it's... There you go. Sup? Let's finish him off, please. I remember there being way more shit in here. Contoured grip. Look at all these grips. Like, all these upgrades, like, really early on. Wow, that's jack shit. <laughs> Only a Sith deals in arithmetic. Yeah, and this one I can't even place a mine, so it's just like... Recover in place. I think I have enough to place, but to recover, I need a certain stat, you know, so. There's Corda, you dirty ass bitch. Oh yeah, Corda has his own law. I should, I forgot to search in Corda's. That was on me. I actually think you can use it here. No, 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 mind. Sorry. I forgot to go in this room, and that's, uh... I gotta double back. Oops. I think you can also disable the security as well. Alright, uh, insert quarters log. Log encrypted. Shit. Wait a minute. The transmission gives. Did I fuck up? His log was encrypted. I thought I could use it. I think I need. Wait, I think I need to get his credentials, though. I think I have to watch the. Uh, I think I have to watch the. God, it's been a minute. I always forget these subtle, subtle details. Like some stuff I remember perfectly and it's like, well. The logs, I think, well. didn't make it out of the dormitory section before the lockdown, you murklack. You're cutting a little close, aren't you? Yes, a regrettable miscalculation on my part. I'm contacting you because I'm picking up a subspace transmission from within that level. Is that your doing? No, they, they must be trying to use the old relay system to send an emergency signal. I doubt they know what's really going on. Hey, this turbo lift's locked down. Try the code again, and don't worry about the miners and their transmission. By the time help arrives, we'll be all the way to Narshada. Oh, they won't be leaving the dormitories. The explosion within the tunnel has damaged the ventilation systems, causing breaches in the core exhaust conduits. What? That's going to kill them all! Not all of them, but I'm sending a number of mining droids to your location right now to correct that problem. Korda, this turbo lift's locked down. The sequence isn't working. Keep trying it! You! Yeah, he reversed it, right? Why are you doing right? this? Why me? You. It was never about you. The Jedi is all that interests me. But then you had to ruin everything by revealing his identity. And then trying to harm him. And that I cannot allow. Statement. You are a risk, Corda. You are impulsive, crude, and soon deceased. Mocking query. Corta. Corta, are you dead yet? Smug statement. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the turbo lift codes in case you managed to get this far. Okay, so what is he? Uh, seven, five, three, seventeen, so thirteen, 
Okay. Oh, sorry. My bad. I didn't mean to replay it. I was... Shit. Sorry, guys. Okay, okay, okay. Blah, 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 blah. I have to watch this shit again. Corta. Query. Corta. Corta. Get fucked, bro. Are you dead yet? In case you didn't figure out, it was HK50 the whole time. I believe I forgot to mention that I reversed the turbo lift codes. In case you managed to get this far. Blah, blah. Big chunk of experience. Man, I swear I was able to watch Corda's log. How come I can't look at it? Hey, James. Doing good. How are you? So, yeah. We're not going to be able to get this. Because if I look at my character... Uh, I need... Yeah, like... J under... Well, 3,000 and change. Experience, so... Because, yeah, he had a secret stash, too. De having demolitions at five early is handy. But. Unless, unless it was always encrypted. I thought it wasn't. Whatever. Let's progress. This, this, this map doesn't matter. No, you don't have to. You can literally break it. You can break everything if you want. Breaking everything gives you a smaller amount of experience, so you're better off doing the full, you know, the full bananas. In my opinion, anyway. Okay, so I don't need this anymore, so I'm going to take it off. Put the survey gear back on. Let's just go through. That's how I used to do it. I used to just break everything. At least we have a clear run of the shit. Master, perhaps I didn't enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested you shut down, stay put, and fuck yourself. The enemy is here. We must leave at once. There's no we here. We are together in this matter, you and I. Uh -huh. What affects you affects me. There can be no division in our actions, or everything is lost. I'm gonna let some old scow hold me up. I travel alone. I realize that you have traveled alone oh, she doesn't since care. the Mandalorian Wars, but that time of self-reflection is over. And if you cannot see beyond yourself and your own needs, then you should know that I have the only means of accessing the Ebon Hawk's navigator. Ebon Hawk. Without it, we both are trapped here. You dirty bitch. You find a nice little asteroid to drop you off onto the rest of your short life. <laughs> we need to make our way to the <laughs> Just ignore it. On this level. I fear the airlock has already opened, and if so, we must be on our guard. If we cannot reach the Ebon Hawk, then we must find a way to escape on the ship that has docked here. Curry's joined your party. Okay, she has a lightsaber because of mod. She's actually got, I don't know if you guys remember, but she's got a unique walking stick. So they, what I liked about it... So this is the mod I was telling you about. It's it's not really changing anything. It's just enhancing it. So it's got a unique hilt. She's got a walking stick. That's what they call it. And it's got blaster bolt, deflection, wisdom, and so it's got extra per perks for them, I believe, is what it does. So she has a lightsaber for that reason. She can have a biotech implant, which is probably good. She can have the Gamorrean gauntlets, because she's weak as fuck. She's old. Um, you can have an energy shield and a melee shield. And I think she can st stealth, so I'll put her in the stealth. And let's level her up. Okay, so we're going to have to focus for her on Wisdom. Uh, she's already... What does it recommend? Wisdom 17. I might... She's already got really high everything except for her strength. So she's going to be a... She's going to be a force power. Having Charisma isn't really going to matter here. So I think either Wisdom or Intelligence. I think, both, I think I'll do Intelligence to help boost her skills. Because she, she gets four skills. So I can go ahead and... I think it's going to recommend we put it all into repair and treat injury, which is probably a good call because she's going to be on the back end. Her persuades were done and her stealth doesn't need to be that high. So I'm going to focus for her. This I usually like to go with the recommended because she will just absolutely slap the cheeks. And having her on Jedi. Let's see what it recommends. Honestly, repair and treat injury is what I'm doing anyway. So um, recommend for scream. Sure, why not? She's kind of passive. Not just Kreia. It's it's for everybody. It's uh, 
It's it's called Ultimate Saber Mod. So now there's actual lightsaber hilts that adjust things. So we're going to put her as Jedi support. Uh, why is it not? It keeps changing it. There you go. So now, because we're linked, any power she uses is going to be money in the bank. I think you can actually play. I thought there were more logs, but maybe not. No. I remember when this first happened, I turned around immediately to see if I can get them. And you can't. Who's this? What in space is going on? Who's this? Another Jedi? What, did you guys suddenly start breeding when I wasn't looking? Shut up and get out of the way, Atten. <laughs> uh, all right. I'm guessing that Republic ship that just docked isn't carrying friends of yours. I hope your talent for understatement is offset by your skill with a blaster. If not, then I fear our time together will be short indeed. Yeah, and I'm also good at running and drinking, Your Majesty. And even if you two aren't big friends of the Republic, that warship's the only way off this station. All right, Atten's up in this bitch. Good thing we have a clear run to the ship. <laughs> Perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested that you should shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. Oh, you were clear. I just don't listen to assassin. I would always say that. Clarification. Assassin and droid is such a crude term, Master. Preserved for Durasteel drones uploaded with only the most archaic kill programs. The function I perform has been referred to as wanton slaughter. I prefer to see it as a means of facilitating communication, resulting in the termination of hostilities. Are you the one who killed all the miners in the med bay? Indignant answer. Master, the miners intended to place you in jeopardy. I could not allow that to take place, so I was forced to negotiate a termination of hostilities. After reprogramming the mining droids to mine any organics they perceived, they began to kill the miners one by one. Then a series of flawlessly timed explosions drove the miners into their dormitories, where I was able to gas them all at once without wasting time hunting them through the mining tunnels. I then administered a large dose of sedatives to the remaining miners in the med bay, enough to kill them, but ensure you slept peacefully. Of course, against my calculations, you awaken from your tank prematurely. I am ashamed by the inconvenience that caused for both of us. And so you ordered the mining droids to kill me. Answer? You misunderstand me, Master. Those droids were there to guard you. As I said, and that I didn't well. anticipate you awakening from the tank. You are quite a hardy specimen for a Jedi. A wrong toe among humans, if you will indulge me the metaphor. Besides, as you proved, Master, such droids could never pose a threat to a Jedi. The droids were custodial in nature, cleaning the facility of other distractions. What's up, Cavian? Josh, Cody, what's up, guys? What do you want to capture me? Why did you want to capture me? Answer. It is beyond the scope of my programming to probe the motivations of my clients, Master. Suffice to say that I am being well compensated for my services. You have been a difficult target to find. You have been wandering the galaxy since the end of the Mandalorian Wars, leaving little record of your passage. It is as if you did not wish to be found by hunters such as myself, or more likely, the Jedi Order. So what now? Are you going to kill me? Answer. No, 
Master. Killing you was never the intention. If you resist my attempts to return you to your Kalto tank, however, I may inadvertently fracture your skeleton in several places to incapacitate you. Who is this client of yours? Chiding answer. My programming renders me incapable of revealing the identity of my client, Master. However, I am free to say that my client is wealthy and very interested in possessing the last of the Jedi. And we do know who that is, but we'll keep it quiet for those who don't. Um, okay. I'm tired of listening to you. Prepare to be scrapped. Resignation. Very well, Master. If inflicting pain is the only means to resolve this matter, then you leave me no choice. This is where Atten's good. I'm going to level him up before we do this battle. So with him, you want a fairly high dexterity. It's already at a 3, so I'm wondering if I should improve his strength or constant... Because I think at, at I think you can get it up to 4. No, nah, we'll do that. I don't know if we should do a blaster build for Atten. Recommend stealth and demos. So now he's at 5. So, so that's what I mean. Now we have him. Stealth is redundant because I think. I think he should be demo and because, I mean, well. Okay. Because he's going to be a mixed bag for me. And we could just add all. Honestly, sometimes it's better just to. Because he can't get treat injury until he's a. I forget, does Atten two weapon fight? Hmm. Because I can, that's the thing, I can make him. Ugh, I always forget what I want to do. Atten's got his own blaster. I think, I, I, I can't remember if I. No, I never made him two weapon fight. No, 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 no. So we're going to ignore that. What's it recommend? Dueling. Seems fair. I'll give him two weapon. I'll give him that for now because I don't know what I want to do with him just yet. The rib jacket actually does stuff. I like how some is more than just clothing. You know what I mean? You're immune now, Atten. I'll give him the mining shield as well. I thought he had an actual like the heavy blasters. Oh, that's two to sixteen for heavy mining laser. There you go. It's two weapon. But no, he's good with a blaster, so maybe we shouldn't give him that. I mean, it's good damage. I'll give him the heavy blaster. Saving throws. I mean, he's going to be even better. Yeah. Say the word. Time to take you down to size. Ah! Jesus Christ! <laughs> I think some crits would be good. Man, they almost dead with those explosions. She doesn't have heal yet. I hear you. Someone's dead. Atten just dropped. He's gonna explode. Back away! Back away! Everyone cancel! Atten's <laughs> face down. She's dead too. <laughs> oh, she got sauced. All right, the vocab. You got to get the HK parts because you want to get that going ASAP. I can't, honestly, I can't believe we didn't get her heal. That seems kind of noobish. Oh my. Harby. All right, we'll save before we go in the Harby. Something is wrong. I sense no one on board. You, you sense, sense no, no one, one on, on board? board? Sense any assassin droids creeping up behind us like last time? Everyone here has been slain, yet there are few signs of battle. No carbon scoring, no blast of fire. This place has been hit by assassins of a different sort. Then what are we doing on this ship? We were better off in the facility. You two are supposed to be Jedi? You two are the worst Jedi I've ever met. Maybe you'd like to get back in your cell. <laughs> Oh, and go where? 
If the I'm trying to get influence with correct, him. Then we cannot reach the hangar. Be silent. I need some time to think. As long as the harbinger is docked, we can use it to reach the hangar the Ebonhawk is. We can bypass the force field. Yeah, let's just be Look, methodical. I don't mean to cast another shadow on this, but even if you could reach the ship you came in on, it wouldn't matter. You'll need the orbital drift charts to clear the Paragus asteroid field, unless you want to have the shortest flight out of Paragus ever recorded. You got another idea instead of a complaint. Let's hear it. <laughs> Two of you, be silent. I watch that imperious tone of yours. I'm losing patience with both of you. <laughs> we need a course of action, not division in our ranks. Otherwise, this ship will be our last stand. Well, this ship's not going anywhere unless it's got the drift charts. Well, of course they have the asteroid drift charts in their Navi computer. They'd have to. Let's focus on the problem we have. I think we can get there. Anybody see problems with getting to the Navi computer? Well, we'd have to get to the bridge. I mean, well, that's the biggest problem I can see. That is a sound plan for the moment. Her eyes creep me out there when she looked up. Our actions and her a lot of linger. Our enemies oh, gather right. while we wait here. All right. I'll just this say that. Well. I got to be careful me. with influence. I got light side, but I know I got light side, but I wanted to get influence with that, and it's important if we want to make him a Jedi. That's what I said. Sometimes we're going to have to do that. Otherwise, we just be, unless we, you guys want me to continue to be an absolute bitch. Which is possible. I hear you. Yeah, Let me take care of this. Pure Pazak. I can't remember if op depending who opens the steel cylinders, if it changes. Now I got a secondary sword. Wait, the, the short sword is upgradable? Get the fuck out of here. All right, I'm doing this because I'm a two two weapon fighting. All right, we don't want to go to air yet. I like to search through the ship. At least we have a clear run of the ship. Perhaps I did not enunciate clearly the last time we spoke. I suggested you shut down, stay put, and wait for rescue. <laughs> Unfortunately, you do miss a lot. I'd be like, I don't need anybody being a Jedi. I think you get achievements for it, though. That's the thing. But uh, didn't I make Atten a Jedi last time? I mean, I have to get an achievement for making Handmaid a Jedi. Hey, gamer. We've been diverted from Onderon to the Outer Rim. There's not enough ships out there, and we're already hard-pressed to keep patrolling the regions under our jurisdiction. I'm afraid we're going to lose it all. There's just not enough ships and too much territory to cover. We're still rebuilding from the war with Malak, and sometimes I wonder if we'll ever recover. Still, we have our orders, and the Republic's put the highest priority on this mission. Looks like the trouble on Onderon will have to wait. As ordered, we've picked up the passengers from the Outer Rim and have made quarters for them. Once aboard, we've plotted a course for Telos. We expect to arrive within ten standard days, provided there's no mishaps. I've been ordered to give the passenger no special treatment, nor make any indication of his identity. I have some reservations about turning the Harbinger into a passenger liner, but the orders were clear. Shit. Whoever this passenger is, he's got diplomatic level priority, whether he knows it or not. We picked up a distress signal and are sending a message to the Republic for permission to investigate. 
We have also transmitted the damaged vessel's ID signature to the Republic. According to the message, it's being pursued by Sith forces. There is no match for the vessel in our databanks, but the profile of the distress signal suggests it's a stock freighter of some kind. We'll only know for sure when we arrive, and we'll find out if the signal's genuine or a trap. We wanted to check with you, sir, before diverting course from Telos. There appears to be some battle that has taken place in the sector, and we've received a distress signal. You have permission to divert course, Captain. If there's a Sith presence in the region, I want you to investigate. The ID signature on the freighter, did you get confirmation on it? Yes, sir. We did not have the vessel listed in our databanks, so we transmitted the code to you. Was there a match? There was, Captain. If you find any trace of that vessel, even wreckage, I want it. Yes, sir. After you've investigated the sector, resume course to Telos with the passenger. It is of the highest importance that he reach Telos. Yes, sir. I'll make sure he arrives intact. Good hunting, Captain. Admiral Nassi out. <sighs> Sometimes I wonder if the right hand of the Republic knows what the left hand is doing. I've always been kept in the... D Query. You sent for me, Captain. Yes. I need you to check on the passenger again, see if there's anything he needs. Try not to be too obvious about it. His safety is our top concern. Statement. I shall use the utmost discretion, Captain. As always, it is my pleasure to serve. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'm just looking at something. Sorry guys, I was just looking at something. Okay, let's keep going. Okay. I don't know, I might ditch this short sword, but if I can end up upgrading it and it's better. I just don't remember if I want to go further yet. Because the bridge is there. I just know at some point you can only go... Like it eventually just ends. Wow, they got spiced on that one, fam. I hear you. Let me take care of this. I think I have to go back to the bridge. Because I'm pretty sure you have to go all the way through it. So yeah, I'm not going to go there yet. Because honestly, as a guardian... Double dipping being guard, or sorry, double dipping with a with a consular is almost redundant if you don't bring Kreia with you. Because, I mean, Kreia is like pretty much money in the bank, you know. Uh, hold on. I hear you. Actually, hold on. It depends who you want to use. One's computer. What happened there? Oh, it skipped. There's no one on board. What about the escape pods? They're still in their Sorry, guys, that log didn't work. This place, it's empty. It's like a ghost ship. Then who was firing at the freighter? We don't know, sir. The freighter's empty too. We, we did a clean sweep and nothing except a lone T3 unit, badly damaged. Did you still want a tractor beamed to the harbinger? Search the freighter and the warship one more time. If they're clean, then we'll tractor the freighter over. Yes, sir. No idea why the Admiral thought that freighter worth all the effort, but we'll find out. Everyone in the Ebon Hawk was dead, sir. We're starting autopsies within the hour. What about that Sith corpse we retrieved from the warship? We haven't had a chance to fully examine it, sir. He looks human, but he's fractured in several places. Then keep me posted. Something's wrong here, and I want to know where all those Sith on the warship went. We're still experiencing a problem with the communications array, and now maintenance is telling me there's a cascade failure in the weapons. Sir, I just picked up an unusual sound from MedLab. Ah! I have come for the Jedi. What the hell was that? Sir, I don't know. Communications just got cut. 
Send a security team to med lab. Now! It's a shame the first one's glitched. We have taken on oh, now it's working. Sir, we've just received an emergency broadcast. A freighter under attack by Sith forces. Can you get an ID on the ship? Yes, sir. We have its ID signature. It's not in our databanks, but its profile suggests some low stock freighter. It says it's being hit hard by a Sith warship. Sir? Sir? I'll need to confirm with command before we move to intercept. Okay. That was weird that it wasn't working before. Okay. Now this one, this is the plasteel cylinder. I open it and I got a good set of robes out of it. Now it's just parts. I remember that I, on one of my many runs I got it. I was like, what the hell? I got these early? Like... I think this one will go... I always forget which way you have to go first. I think this way is for like... I know there are guys back there, I know. I think they both end up just like... Hi. Everyone down! I mean, if I ever saw anybody doing that, I'd probably be like, I sh probably shouldn't be hanging out with this guy. I hear you. Oops. I hear you. What is it? Okay, let me just confirm. I thought one of these actually was a dead end. I just can't remember which side it is. I love that one because you just yeet it at him. You're just like, you're, you're being reckless almost, you know? Right, this Everyone is the dead down. end. This is where the escape pods are. Let's start. I wouldn't mind a workbench because I can upgrade the short sword. Fallen. Maybe it was this plasteel that had something good in it. No, I don't think so. I mean, credits are good. It's a minor amount. Yeah, so that's your dead end. Alright, we'll go back now. Yeah, I forgot this one was just kind of like... So yeah, you go to the next area there. They, they pretty much... They, they changed some out of the animations to movements and things like that, but a lot of them were very similar. Like, at the slapping, like his... Like, his abilities already are really good. That's, that's magnetically sealed, right? Yeah. So not the greatest, but... And obviously, I'm sure you guys can tell as well, visually, visual, visually, I've got some graphical mods installed, so... The appearance of the Harbinger is a little more bright and vibrant. I mean, visual mods on every planet I've done. Just because it makes a big difference. Yeah, they yeah they were currently working on the remake of this game, but um, it got delayed indefinitely. So it's still being made, but it, it's just who knows how long it's going to be. And it's not this game. It's the first game. KOTOR 1. What's up, Alan? All right, this is where our quarters are, I believe. I can't remember which side they're on. It doesn't matter, though. I hear you. Pure Pazak. Let me take care of this. What, what we're not pure pizzocking anymore, Atten? Just say the word. I usually just have Atten going to town. For now, I will make him ranged. For now. I might make him a melee weaponier. It's like, oh, that door looks threatening. Are you all right? This is my room. This is your room? When? It's not important. We do not have much time. Whatever you intend to do, do it quickly. This is where you get your armband, which is money in the bank. And my data pad as well. So let me insert this data pad to get my injections. 
Okay, so we're going to switch one. Which one have I used? Have I used any of them? Yeah, I've used this one. we we'll use my armband, which gives me a constitution boost. Which is obviously good, because it's like basically more hit points, things like that. I hear you. What up, DJ? How you doing? Damn thing stuck. Damn thing stuck. What is it? I do have this, I guess. That is how you do it, Adam. Say the word. Damn thing stuck. What up, Jake? Yes. Hold on a second. Before I proceed, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anything in the... Like, I there's sometimes, like, a plasteel cylinder. I just can't remember if I hooked it up. Nah. They do guide you, though. They're like, you should probably check this out. There's the spawn. Why does it target these ding-dongs first? No, stop. It's funny because the, the Sith Assassins are like kind of weak sauce, aren't they? That's kind of the from. idea. There's a level up. Okay, I can now... Oh, whoa, cancel. Improve force jump. I can now act... What does it recommend? It wants me to do treat injury. I'm going to do one more in the demo because now I can pick up those on my own. Heal is a light side power. Sundroid, is that neutral or light side? It's light side, so I'm gonna equip that. It's good, but it's gonna be. Stun is light side as well. There's a few things. Uh, energy resistance. I might just keep going with maybe force. Put, or maybe dominate. You know, let's do dominate mind at this point. It's gonna be good for us. I forget which way I need to go first. I think this one goes to a dead end, so we'll go to the end. Ten bucks on him. Yeah, I think the door is locked, and then the, yeah, they flank you. That's all it is. Just a bunch of just a bunch of garbage. And Kraya's flexing. I mean, I don't think I can actually use Kraya's lightsaber. I don't think it'll actually let me, if I remember correctly. I hear you. Yes. I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to her, so it's not like you can just suss it out and do that. All right, for hers, toughness makes sense because she's weak. Oh, actually, actually, yeah. Cause she's she she takes L's pretty early. Oh, she gets two force deflection. There you go. Let me just try it actually. Usable by Kraya. Yeah. See, they don't let you change it. That's what I thought. I think this is where the repair. Oh, this is Med Bay. I think this is the one that goes all the way around. I'll just confirm. Because, yeah, this will wrap around, but I think it's a dead end as well. Yeah, okay. At least it, at least it makes him uninvisible. Oh, they actually added like Colto sounds. It's pretty sweet. And you can use this like. Oh, I forgot to level up. Uh... What's his name? Atten. Sorry, Atten. How many does he get? He gets four. Security, I'd like to boost. More than demo. Because right now, he can be my demo guy. 
Hold on. Attempt to get chemicals. Treatment request. Emergency override. Dosage exceeds. There must be where they rend you unconscious. Yeah. Identify. Yeah, okay. Um, camera. Record. Oh, wait. No, shit. I wasn't supposed to watch this yet. Damn it. Sorry, I skipped. I'm supposed to watch this at the end. I love how he gets a headache. Oh, I got a headache. Where's the aspirin? See, he's supposed to say I've come for the Jedi. Whatever. It's almost like this is where we started. Something's wrong. Ever since we picked up that Sith firefight in the region, crewmen haven't been reporting for their shifts. Was it always in-game? I don't remember that. Calm. The strange thing is, I keep feeling like someone's watching us here in the ship, but I can't see anyone. I don't like that. <sighs> I don't have a lightsaber. Kraya does, Josh. It's like a, it's like a, it's called the ultimate uh, uh, lightsaber mod. Basically, it creates custom hilts, so each hilt is different and has a different perk to it. Um, Kraya is the only one who can use that. So instead of a vibro sword, she gets spawned with a lightsaber that's exclusive to her, and it has extra perks for using it. Checking the survivor from the Sith vessel. I'm not sure whether he's alive or dead, or what's even keeping him together. His flesh is cracked and scarred, and I'm registering several thousand. I have no idea what's skeleton, keeping him together. As if each bone was splintered repeatedly over time, then put back together. Judging from the scar tissue, I believe these wounds took place before his death. If so, he must have been in constant pain. I have no idea what's been keeping him together. She repeats herself a lot. I think she says that too. This is the medical officer. The soldiers sent to the medical bay have just died. I don't know where the subject went. I think he's gone to find more of the crew. With him or Sith. They just appeared right out of thin air, like they were wearing stealth generators, but I think they were always on board. When we stopped to pick up that freighter, they must have come on board the Harbinger. I have no idea how many are on the ship. There could be only a few, or as many as a hundred. And with communications cut off, we can't call for help. I think that thing in the tank was a Sith Lord, alive the whole time, waiting for something to wake him up. <laughs> Of course. Okay. Mm, I didn't get a tattoo, no. My arms have always been covered. My arms have been covered for years, so no, no new tattoos. I just got a sprain. That's all this is. Just sprained my wrist the other day. Labs. Yeah, I still need. Oh, this is Sith Assassins. I'm gonna ignore them for a minute. I'm ready. This is the other side of the wall. This shall not stop us for long. At least I can do that and make him visible, so that's the perk. Because he's got... The downside with, like, the two-weapon combat when you're so low up... Let us end this. I think this was like a um just kind of like uh damn thing stuck. Really? Damn thing stuck. Why did I bother? Honestly, I can just do this. I hear you. You should be able to do this one. I just upgraded your security. So this is should be no problem for you. You'd think they would let you search every single one. Give me something good. Battle on. Well, I mean, that's worth it. You could sell that.
Damn. I was hoping for like a nice set of robes because I haven't been able to upgrade my my shit in a while, so. I mean, I'd like a workbench too, just so I can at least try out upgrading the uh, the short sword because the short sword is upgradable, which is kind of, or is it a long sword? I mean, it looks about the same. Well, to be fair, I think these are both quite short. I think they're both technically short blades because one's a vibro cutter. But we're missing a lot. Sometimes just using regular melee attacks is better. That's true. I do have a lightsaber, but yeah, I like to open shit, but it's it's slower than using I <coughs> even when using um, a regular Lightsaber, even when I get a lightsaber, I always use this to open doors because it's just so fast, just a little poop. Whereas the uh, the lightsaber, you have to wait for him to actually shove it in there. Combat suit. Droid man's log. I don't know whether this new HK-50 droid is a gift or a curse. After the destruction of the previous protocol droid, when it accidentally activated that frag mine, the HK has stepped into its place without a hitch. The problem is it doesn't take commands very well. And most of the time, I have no idea where it's been. There's been reports it's been sighted in the crew quarters with the captain, in maintenance, and even in med lab of all places. And when I ask the droid about it, it gives me a smart mouth response about facilitating communication. I don't know who commissioned these HK models, but I don't like them. Purposely sabotaged. Got some experience for that. What did that, uh, hold on. Where does it go? Can't remember where the, is it J? Yeah, it's J. Recent history. So yeah, that's something to look at. What's up, Nigel? Um, usually the game can run you, depending how much you do. Um, hold on, before we go in there. Like, uh, 20, depending how fast and quickly you get through things, 20 to 30 hours, but I have mods installed and I'm taking my time, so... Um, I don't know, it might take me around, I'd say over 30. But I'm not sure. Cause I have there's a new there's a new mod I've installed that I've never done before. That'll that apparently adds like two hours to the to the game on its own. Apparently it's not that good, but I used to mem I had this I have a bad this bitch memorized. This. What's wrong? Don't you feel it? I have to say Something's I trust gonna him. Get real wrong, real quick. To get his we have to keep moving. All right, but don't say I didn't warn you. Trust me. When it Gotta comes to staying alive, I'm experience. rarely wrong about these things. Er, okay. You gotta get that influence. There's no dark side from it, so there's no, or sorry, there's no light side, so it doesn't matter what you say. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one so limited as you, perhaps, to have fallen so far and learned nothing. That is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. And now you run in search of the Jedi. I have come for the Jedi. Save one. What broken Jedi can't stop alone. the darkness that is to not come? Defenseless. He cannot kill what he cannot see, and power has blinded him long ago. Run. I shall be along shortly. It's funny because like in the initial run she whips out a vibro or like a vibro blade. And then when this happens, she whips out a vibro sword. Obviously it's her lightsaber here, but where did she go? Hold on. I forget where I think this is where Kraya went. No, maybe not. Oops, sorry. Boop. Come on, man, give me swag. One med pack. What are y'all rationing? Like, what's going on? Vibro blade. I think that's better than what I'm currently using. So let me take a little gander. Vibro cutter is one to ten. The vibro blade is one to ten as well. It's fully upgradable. It's identical. The thing is, it's identical to the vibro cutter, but. 
So I'll tell you what, I'll use the vibro blade here, and then I'll use the vibro cutter, but the short sword is upgradable. So now we've got these two. This will be upgradable. See, the vibro cutter is a unique blade. Usually, it used to be like a... Oh, no, no, no. That's what it was, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear you. Okay, we'll use this. Uh, there, we have one more repair parts. Doesn't matter which ones you do. It gives you experience. Same amount of experience. Use the same amount of parts, regardless of how high your skill level is. I could have done that on my own. But I'm going to head right first, because I think there's a room with some shit in it. Alright, and I think this is a workbench, so now we can finally see what these bad boys can do. So let's check, take a look. Okay, so let's, I like to sort by range, by, you know, by, by, by weapon. So Vibro Blade is going to get the full beans. It's got everything. I've got a bunch of Deveronian edges. Ionite edges, is, this is a, probably a good thing to have now. Mild gives massive criticals. This is a damage bonus, and that's an amazing blade to get this early. Two physical damage. It's got an ion cell. I have a bunch of these. So massive critical. This is going to be a pretty dope weapon. Contour damage penalty goes down. Defense bonus. Nagai grip, I think, is your best bet. Because, well, Zabrak gives you a bonus, but we lose, we drop defense. Maybe I'll do the Zabrak on this one. And the short sword, let's see what it can do. You can upgrade two of them. I think you want an attack modifier, no damage, no damage penalty. Uh... Maybe that maybe just like good for, maybe this should be my secondary. It's got massive criticals, but this is good versus droids, which is we're fighting a lot of droids right now. So even though the other one isn't upgraded, it's, even though it's got a damage of one to six, it's got extra damage, so it's gonna be a better weapon to have. The minor uniform, that's all we can do anyway, so let's just cancel. Uh the combat oh I do have the combat suit though. Strength boost right there. Heat shielding. This one does a little bit of everything. It's good for, for melee. So it's pretty good. But the thing is, it restricts force powers. That's the downside, is I can't use force powers with it. The Durasteel dexterity bonus is probably good. Because it's got none as it is. Defense bonus and dexterity. Oh, and then we lose the dexterity bonus. So it actually goes down. So it's like, honestly, at this point... I'd rather do that. And then there's battle armor, which I've already got something enabled on it. Durasteel Heavy is the same thing. Okay. See, we have a lot of upgrades, so I'm just going to go to you now, and I'm going to change this Vibra Cutter, and it's going to go to the Short Sword, because it's got that extra boosts. So, there you go. Now that it's upgraded, I'm curious to see. Like I said, I can switch to this, but I won't be able to use any of these. Man, that looks really different, hey? That's why, even though it's got a better defense, I'd rather have the minor uniform. Because it doesn't restrict force powers. So, I'd say we haven't saved in a hot second. That's true. She really does try to make herself to be like a gray Jedi, but then she like, if you start saltifying it, she becomes, well, she slips back to her former self a lot quicker. <laughs> I love how you get experience just for doing that. 250 experience. We should be leveling up pretty soon. And I'm actually going to start working on my treat injury. Damn it, he, his con is... You're gonna regret this. Damn it, his dialogue didn't work. This dialogue better the work. Failure is yours. No, it's fucked up. No longer do your whispers crawl within my this is such skull. such a good scene. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. Dude, that dialogue was so money. She puts it away. Good job, dipshit.
W what's wrong? Are you all right? Damn it, hold on. It's only a little farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? Nothing. All right then, if you're sure. I got light side. Hold on. So I'm okay. Since I got light side, we're gonna we're gonna reload this bit. I want to try and make that scene work, and I'm just say, bro, fuck off, and stay here and die, because it's just there's certain influence places you can lose. I guess that's I can't. I, I guess I should really make a knowledge of where those are, and if I if I lose if I just gain light, I don't want to gain light side. That's not what we're doing. That really sucked though that it, it cut that shit out, man. I'm choked. The dialogue is glitched out. I might save again so we don't have to do that again. Yeah, so it seems like some dialogue just speeds through. Ooh, hello. Tell me your joke. And stay here and die. Oh hell. Better the death you know. I'm right behind you. <laughs> Please don't skip. I sent you my master. There, it worked this time. Faint. Weak. Your senses betray you. As you betrayed me. After all that's happened, still you live. You are difficult to kill. For one as limited as you, perhaps. To have fallen so far and learned nothing, that is your failing. The failure is yours. No longer do your whispers crawl within my skull. No longer do I suffer beneath teachings that weaken us. And now you run in search of the Jedi. They are all dead, save one. And one broken Jedi cannot stop the darkness that is to come. Perhaps we shall see. And she's like, up. Oh. Psst. Let's put it down. <laughs> it's just like, come on, bro. You completely missed that. What up, Bill? How's it going? I don't understand why it glitches like that sometimes. I mean, mods. What, what's wrong? Are you all right? Damn it! Hold like, on. Oh, it's my only head. A farther. Don't give up on me now. What happened to you? I don't, I don't know. We need to keep moving. All right then, if you're sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, so we're back in the fuel area. T3 is in the Utility house. Droid. Looks like it's been hit with an ion charge and dumped here. Warm up your systems and let's go. I don't want to. Okay, T3 is the in word. the house. Again, this is pointless to give him any strength whatsoever. It makes sense to give him intelligence and dexterity. Those two make a ton of sense because he's going to be dodging throws and shit. This one, I it, you should just give it all to him. Yeah, just fills it up quicker. Max that shit. He's got the skills. I... It, you know what? I usually like to give him two weapon, but there you go. You got a bit of that. So computer use, regen, demolitions. I'll do that and demo. That way he can... See, that's what I mean. I shouldn't have bothered with my demo. The shock arm is money and so is the flamethrower, but it's got, it's got like a certain amount of uses. Mining laser, is that all he has? I mean, there's one that does one to eight, which is kind of interesting to me. That they had multiple weapon styles in there. But now here's the thing. Now we can recover very quickly. So whenever now we got T3. So that's something to think about. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna go over here. Okay, bro, this thing is gonna sl- <laughs> Like, watch this crit strike. It's fucking game over, dog. It's done. Where that came from? 
It looks like he did the degeneration X thing. <laughs> He's just like... Degeneration X! Where would that came from? Is this on? Hit me, hit me with that triple H. He's done. Oh wow, dude, that should have been a full money with that ion damage. Yes, it's one to six base damage, but don't forget the ion. Oh gosh. Um. Just say the word. At you dingus. Oh wait, no, snipe it. Okay, everyone. No! Oh god, exile was stupid. I wanted to recover that mine. Now that I think about it, we're almost done on Paragus. There's not a whole lot left to do. I don't know why the music comes in late there, just to fuck with me. This guy's getting the beans, watch this! Recover as many mines now that we've got the teeth in here. Yeah, I should have saved all my demo skills, guys. Or put maybe two in just to disarm them and then it just seemed kind of redundant. That's a bunch of balls. I feel so stupid, man. I could have redone those. I mean, I guess I could. There might be a mod. I can't remember the save editor or whatever that allow me to modify my demos if I want. I mean, I could just be an idiot and put them all max out everything. That would be hilarious. I mean, it, would be, it wouldn't be fair, but it would make the build redundant and you can just literally max out everything. Whenever you like, right at the beginning. I mean, it's it's fun to do that like once in a while, you know. Come on, man. There's a level up, and now we can finally. Uh, let's see. It's gonna recommend we go into treat injury. I think that's fair. Alright, this one, I think I might improve my two weapon. And this one, it's... Uh... <laughs> it's super late. I think I might go wound. As priorities. And then I might do energy resistance. Time to even the odds. So now I'm gonna miss less. It's definitely worth it. These guys never carry anything, though. I don't know if you noticed that. Alright, we don't need this shit. This is where T3 got attacked. Oops. Alright, we don't have to go back that way. Sorry. Because I'm making my way back to the... Uh... Meet us back at the studio. Where is it? That way. Docking Bay 94. I have come for the Jedi. You make quick work of these ding dongs. There's nothing more satisfying. Than the sound of like shredding up a shield in this game, you know, fleck, 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 you know that sound? You know what I'm talking about? Deck, deck, deck. Like I don't know. That's my zipper sound. It's kind of like a zipper. And then they just explode after like the triple combo. You're just like, bro, after a nice quality flurry. It's money. Got a clear run to the shit. Oops, I didn't. Oh, he he didn't say anything. Oh, B read eat. And go to terminal and open it. What is that? Oh, god damn it! So he said he can open the hangar. How can you even understand that noise? Long story. Oh god, it happens so frequently. I don't like that. 
Uh, replace the conduit. I probably could have done it, but... Sometimes you just need to make a fresh save. But it just, it, you're skipping, it skips dialogue like crazy, you know? Like, where was the last save? Yeah, a while ago, so it's like not worth it. It's almost like every new area I should save. More where that came from. Only six damage. It's like, wait, I'm down. I hear you. Yeah, and if you wouldn't mind. Oh, Atten's- oh man, this is not good. It's time to go. You know what? Let's do a reload, that was a rough start. Yes, I'm playing it again. It's my 10 year anniversary of the first KOTOR 2 Let's Play on the channel, so. Just like I did with KOTOR 1, same thing. I think I might take a, an actual break though after this. <laughs> I got everything over here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I dropped health quick. Tell you what, let's just throw an energy shield on. Finish up. How's my health doing? That's much better. Power attack would do well. He's toast anyway. Any one of these guys can open this. T3's probably got better. Detonator gloves. They really are getting that stealth and demo up. The detonator gloves are... I mean, I might... They give me the demo up of three. Those are pretty sweet, actually. Tell you what, I'll give them to him for now. Okay, okay what's up the camera angle? Okay, start, start wrecking them. What happened to T3? Where's T3 at? T3 is getting a little level up from us. Actually, I should be able to lift these. Actually, no, they're average. Okay, hold on. Let them come. He's running this way. Aw, oh, you fucker, man. No, please don't blow it up! I think I got it. Okay, let them... Oh, wait. Failure? Damn it. Actually, he might be higher on the demos. He's got the gloves on now, so we'll see. Yep. Atten's better with demos at the moment. Don't you dare run through it, you ding-dong! Oh, for God's sake. That's why you gotta go solo mode for those moments. Oh, shit, hey? I'm almost dead. Met up! Oh my god. Cancel then. Oh, right. You actually, have to, you actually have to click. I forgot about that. 
remains for me. Like, normally I'd be running with heal, but it's a light side power, so there's not much you can do with it. Because these mines get to go in my inventory. Yeah, that's fixed now, Stone. That was a intro bug. Because whenever there would be like the, like that little like comment subscribe thing, that was embedded on YouTube, so YouTube would automatically you'd upload a three second video, and it would uh, auto um, upload any new upload with. Uh, wait, what? You have too many cloud saves. Oh. Oh. So I have on. Oh, so that's cloud saves that I had. So yeah, so what would happen is when YouTube removed that feature, they said, we're going to remove this feature. You should probably remove your the audio on it other, or remove it off of it. Otherwise, every video for the rest of YouTube's like history will have that intro. So I'm like, I better remove it. So I did that, and it didn't like work properly for each one. So it left like a, uh, a lag. Um, let's see. Shut down the decontamination system. It's four spikes. It's just never worth wasting those spikes. So you get you get a bit of you get a bit of balls, but so anyway, it left that shit and it it you know became kind of permanent or whatever. For a while, it became permanent. I couldn't fix them up until the point where YouTube changed their editor and it allowed you to edit videos that were older and had a certain amount of views. Back then, you could only edit videos that had like less than a certain amount of views. So because I was able to fix those. Um, I do I have an antidote kit? I do. Because I was able to fix it, now all those videos are are in sync, all the Kotor ones. And people usually tell me if they end up watching an old one, they get it and they get like a the glitch happened. Let me know. Send me like a tweet or a DM or something like that somewhere, and I will uh, do my best to fix them. Because it's pretty easy to fix, especially with an old video that's or sorry, a video that's like 720p. I hear you. Like, you know, it's, it's like next to, takes next to no time to edit it. I remember, I remember progress being a lot longer than this, but we still have a lot of communication to do. We still have to talk. Because I'm going to be splitting stream after progress. I'm not going to go to Telos in stream because we won't have time to do all of Telos. But tomorrow when we play it, we'll be able to sort Telos in one stream as well. Because Telos does take up a good chunk of time. So on and so forth. There's going to be some streams, though, mind you, that are, are going to be all... I'm going to combine locations, because I know some locations are shorter together. But man, they are giving us some swag. I would still love it, though, if we had more shit. Like, more, more armor and things that were just better suited for me right now. Are you having trouble getting this, T3? This one, I don't, I don't know if the mod's gonna change it, but this bit never made any sense to me. Coming up here in a second. Oh, there's a mining drone under there. Where did he come from? How did that not hit him? That was very bizarre. See if he's got any remains on him. Anyways. Ready to go. There's nothing else to do here, so you're better off going. I mean, I guess I could... I don't even know if I'm allowed to double back and go to those, like, mine places that I'm... I don't think so. Like, that one... The sub-levels, the mining tunnels, those are blown up. Those are done. They went explodey. But there's still some chatting we have to do in the Epicon, so... This this never made any sense. Like, where did the Sith fucking come from? It, you know what I mean? They just kind of spawn. These dirty dogs. I usually just mash the mouse button. Before the screen can load. Because as the fade-in happens...
sorry, it's very loud. <laughs> oh, one got through. I just fucking annihilated. <laughs> Let's go. Good thing you arrived. I would have left you. I have no intention of being left <laughs> behind. Now, let us leave. Oh, man. Okay, now last time we let them destroy it, but this time we're going to destroy the asteroid to get an achievement for it. There's a few achievements. They're going to pop up down there um, that we're going to get this run that we couldn't get because they're dark side related. So just to keep that in mind. And then we're going to obviously talk about where we're going and yeah. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. Can we jump to hyperspace? Not with all these asteroids around us. We'd enter hyperspace in pieces. We have to clear that field first. Thing is, we clear the field and they're gonna have a clear shot at us. Is there anything you can do? I'm doing all I can and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go nova. Fire on the asteroids. Maybe the explosion will destroy them. That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. Hold on. This is. Oh wait, what did I do? What did I say? Oh, for fuck's sake, man. I didn't mean to do... <sighs> I did not mean to do that. I promise you, I did not. I was just trying to click ahead and select it. Avoid them. Man, I'm pissed now. And they... Well, now that we... Because... Fucking annoying, man. Now I gotta reload it. And redo that again. Because it selected the wrong fucking conversation. God damn it. I don't even know where the last save point was. Jesus. That's so frustrating. I said... Dr uh, no, I didn't. I said trash compactor. Ugh. I don't know where this would have saved. 1324. Okay, that would have been it. I think. I think right when they said, if they miss us, we're dead. If they hit us... Yeah. Somebody... Sh Fine. Okay, hold on. I gotta ask this. Is there anything you can do? Can we jump to hyperspace? Fire on the asteroids. Okay. See, I said no. We don't have a choice, do it. Hold on. There you go. This is gonna get a little rocky. Give me a different achievement, please. I mean, what I don't like about that is they literally give you the exact same. It's like an illusion of choice. The facility gets blown up anyway. You know. Well, now that we just killed a planet, maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord, Lord that looks like, like he sleeps, sleeps with vibro blades, blades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Why are they Sith looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Next time someone calls me a Jedi, they'll be lying in a pool of their own blood. The Sith will dare to accuse you of such. They believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. What's up, Drive? 
What happened to them? The Jedi's civil war destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. What happened to them? Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall, and the civil war that followed. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi, and the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still, in reverence to the fallen Jedi, and those now lost. And the Jedi are dead, gone, and good riddance. Perhaps. But they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Now how do we stop the Sith? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. I say we fight back. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. Any enemy can be fought and killed. You fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? If these set threaten me, then they die. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose... Prey is going to eat a dick, though. A you, you, you got to find stuff about her, though. the first steps are taken, it carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Only the Sith will pay the price for crossing me. <laughs> like so many Jedi, you hear... But you do not listen. You have much to learn. I'm not Jedi. You said the Harbinger was on its way to Telos. Yes. To aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go. And where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. Can you explain how you tracked me down? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. The Ebon Hawk. It's an unusual set of coincidences. <laughs> True. Oh, not yet. <laughs> but as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. How come I don't remember any of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. How do we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to... Be silent! Be silent. We're having a conversation here. Oh, I'm starting to look older. Look at that. Now let's beep out of you, your scrap. Maybe that droid noisemaker could make itself useful repairing the ship for once. I feel so bad. Oh, he has exactly what he did. Long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also, in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, uh, not like I care or anything, but you might want to go check on our What's passenger. Up, Henry? Especially with that hand of hers. I'm sure she could take care of herself. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. She didn't seem to be in pain to me. Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean a very strong, manly Minoc. 
I think she's just too proud to show any weakness. Especially in front of you. If it'll shut you up, I'll go check on her. Alright, we didn't get any experience loss, but I think that'll happen later on. Alright, attributes. I think I want to boost my intelligence so it's not negative anymore. Because now we might actually be able to get two skill points per upgrade. Oh, it's still only one. I don't want demo anymore, but we'll go persuade. Powers. Okay, this one... We're still kind of locked. I can do wound. I have to make a choice. Drain force. I can't remember how to get drain life. I have to be, what, level 9. So that'll be something I want. Sonic. Mind trick. You, you unlock mind trick on your own, I thought. Battle meditation. Hmm, what do I want? Maybe, I told, I said energy resistance. It's good to use, like, going in. Okay. Okay, so let's make a quick save. Have a word with that. Uh, not like I care or anything. Check on her then. Yeah, so I have to go talk to her first. And then you have a chat with Atten. Uh, any programming spike? Can we make any more? Something else I needed. Look at you suffered a lot of damage. How much? So you lost a lot of programs behavior cord just due to damage to your frame. Pretty dumb. That's so mean. But you lose influence with him, so it's like... Whatever, we gotta be a prick. Alright, we can open up the main hub as well and uh, see what lies here. It's your boy HK47. Diagnosed the droid. Obviously T3 knows him. Four critical points, processor, replacement droid, chassis... Control cluster is supposed to be stored in the chassis. And it's I think I had the vocabulary. Yeah. Okay. Three more parts needed. And that that's going to unlock a lot of stuff, too. Oh, wait. No. Kreia's, Kreia's in the... I believe the port. The port side. One thing I'm wondering... Let me see. Can I upgrade... I mean, she's not here. I don't think I can upgrade. I don't think hers counts as a lightsaber. That's why I can't upgrade it. If I remember correctly, T3 influence doesn't matter much. But being a dick to people could put them towards a Jedi. It's just... Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. If you refer to your hand, the choice is yours. Of course it was. I knew what was necessary. And that I was the only one who stood between you and him. This wound is a physical thing and will fade with time. It was necessary. Some things may only be learned from sacrifice. If I felt the loss of your hand, what would happen if you died? I do not know. I didn't even I tell her that. that. It's kind of a break. The consequences would have been more extreme. Would it have been lethal? Possibly, yes. And I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. <laughs> That's so good. Um, but your age, at your age, you could die at any moment, especially considering the way you act. If you think a connection to one such as yourself gives me any comfort, then you would be wrong. I desire this no more than you do. It seems that at times of stress, and pain. If they catch us unawares, then the pain is transmitted between us. Mm. Does our connection have advantages? It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. It's so good to have Kray along just for that. 
Force chain. A powerful technique indeed, though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. So what do we do now? I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. Must be someplace we go. It does not matter where we go. It does not matter where we go. It is not the destination that matters. It is the journey. All paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be, and no matter how strongly we fight against it. For now, we are bound for Telos, and that is enough. Enough for what? Before the war, Jedi who failed their training were sent to the fields of Telos to serve the galaxy, not as Jedi Knights, but as farmers and laborers. The destruction of Telos was complete. I doubt any Jedi remain. Yet there may be echoes of their passing. We shall see. That plan seems weak. Then I am left with nothing more than we had already. My faith in you and your ability to meet what comes. Other questions? Ask. More about the Sith. These Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith, since the Jedi Order was first split. First split? Yes. The Jedi Civil War is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith. But in their hearts, they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it, as Malak did. But these Sith seem different. In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. Sith on progress knew some Force techniques, but they were extremely weak. I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes or the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. Other questions? Ask. Uh, I can feel the Force again. Indeed. Indeed? And was it the same as before? It's like a whisper at the edge of hearing. If my suspicions are correct, perhaps the damage the Jedi Council did was not as permanent as they thought. It is not an easy thing to cut one off from the Force. Their response, they had no right. What did you believe? That you suddenly lost your connection with the Force without reason? It's almost like losing all your senses at once. Indeed it is. It is much like losing one's ability to listen or being put into a deep sleep, unable to awaken to the galaxy around you. Such a thing has been done before, when Jedi have pronounced sentence on their own and exiled them as they did you. If the Jedi were not already gone and dead, I would end their lives for doing this to me. It is possible that such a thing can be undone. She just completely glazes Still, over that. Even so, the chances of the Jedi undoing such a thing for a traitor is a slim thing at best, assuming they yet live. Force, I can feel it again, if only slightly. Our link may have had other consequences. Perhaps you can hear the Force again distantly through me. If so, then there is hope. I may be able to teach you. 
train you to feel the Force again. And if you will not allow me to help you, then other Jedi must train you, or undo the damage they have done. You train me, you can barely stand. <laughs> I fear there may be no other choice. The threat we face is grave. If you cannot defend yourself, then we have already lost. I offer to train you to become strong again, to know the ways of the Force, and to hear the Force sing within you as it once did. Long-winded scowls. Scowl in my thoughts is enough. If your training brings me power. I have no use for matters, but a servant. I'll say that. Then our training shall begin. Whenever I travel with you, I shall impart what I can I wonder can if it's to possible to actually reject my her. words and presence. More questions. Uh, what has happened since the Mandalorian Wars? Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence. And since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V... Tell me about the wars. It is a tale you already know well. Almost a decade ago, the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. But only some Jedi answers. The Jedi Council didn't help. Only a few of the Jedi Knights did. Indeed. The Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian threat as the Outer Rim burned. And, Re and Revan and Malak refused to wait. Two Jedi Knights, Revan and Malak, defied the Jedi Council. They challenged the Mandalorian fierceness and brutality on the battlefield with a viciousness of their own. Revan's entrance into the conflict marked the true beginning and end of the war. It was Revan who drove the Mandalorians back into the unknown regions. Fought well, savagely to the end. Yet Revan triumphed. But you know this, for you were there at Manacor V, when the Mandalorians were crushed beneath Revan's might. I asked you what you know, not what I know. You asked what had happened, and I am telling you. The past sent echoes into the future, and what seemed a victory for the Republic was far from it. Many believed the Mandalorians defeated at Manacor V, but the Mandalorians taught the Jedi much through battle. And so it was that Malak, Revan, and the Jedi that followed them discovered their true natures in the Mandalorian Crusade. But you know this. And if I could, I would have followed them. If you had followed them, then you would have learned the lesson of a follower. Perhaps it was fortunate you did not. As Revan and Malak fought the Mandalorians in battle after battle, they grew to despise weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. Didn't the Order try to stop them? Revan and Malak and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. Uh, Republic is weak. They couldn't have beaten Malak. As all Sith do without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. Did the Jedi recapture Revan? After defeating Malak, Revan left the Republic, and there are none who know where he has gone. It is said that the Sith remnants turned on themselves after Revan defeated Malak, reducing Korriban to ruin as the Republic still bleeds and struggles for life. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. Saying Revan abandoned the war? It would seem that way from a certain. Doesn't matter what you say, she says that on each one. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. Malak and Revan should have crushed the Republic. Perhaps. It is sometimes difficult to find the truth in the Jedi Civil War. 
Was it the Republic that defeated Malak, or was it Revan? If it was Revan, then the Republic was never truly tested. Get to the point if there is one. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves, or find themselves lacking. Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath, and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. The Republic has avoided its fate for too long. Let them burn. We shall see. The Jedi Civil see War... See if I lost any influence from her. The resources of the Sith seemed Perhaps. limitless. The Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. Entire planets were decimated. Their inhabitants dead, or refugees. It is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. What do you mean? The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground. And if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. Other questions? Ask. I think that's about it, though. Much has happened. Uh. No. Revan and Malak. As you know, Revan and Malak. As Revan and Malak fought the man in Hold the on. end. Revan, Revan. Hold on. Yeah, sorry. I've already asked that. Right, I would enough. see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. Crack a skull in the bulkhead if he tries. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. All right, so I gain influence in dark side. That's the best you could do from that. If you actually go light side, you actually can lose it and then gain it. So you kind of, you make a bit of influence, but not a ton. Anyway, got some people jumping in here. I, I don't actually know what prestige I'm going with yet. I'm thinking towards Marauder. Just kind of going with the, uh, the Sith, uh, or say, like, keeping the, you know, because, like, ultimate, like, superior to weapon fighting is going to slap so much. Um, you know, so probably with that, we'll see. If that, that is Marauder, right? And then weapon, no. Because that's Jedi Weapon Master. Sith Marauder is the same thing. And then there's Sith Assassin, which is, like, the skill-based one. And then there's Sith Lord. Pretty sure that's what it was. Anyway, um, what's up, Ramiro? Uh, tomorrow is the next stream. And what up, Edwin? Progress feels tedious, but you can also unlock some early stuff. So it really just depends how you look at How's it. How's our passenger? Some good shit She's early. Still aging. Cryptic as always. What a surprise! Just so you Jedi know, the whole cryptic routine isn't mysterious. It's just irritating. If you really can see the future, you should be at the Pazak table. Considering her age, I doubt she has much future left. <laughs> you got a point. <laughs> how old do you think she is, anyway? She may have been good looking once, but it takes some hard living to make creases like that. If she looks good, you must have taken a blast right when I wasn't looking. Hey, I just got out of prison. If we had a decent Navi computer, trust me, we'd be dropping out of hyperspace into the Nar Shadda Red Sector right now. After spacing that old witch, of course. Are we still on course for Telos? Like we have a choice? It's the only place Baragas had logged in their astrogation charts. Well, if you thought Baragas was dead, then Telos is a dying world they're trying to breathe back to life. Should be there before too long. 
You can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. Oh, no, no, no. Look, look, I respect your privacy. I mean, when have I ever asked you any questions? I mean, besides that one. You know anything about that assassin droid? No, not much. Except sounds like it was after you. As far as I'm concerned, you handled that pretty well. No more droid, no more problem. I actually don't... I think this is part of cut content. I don't remember this being in the first one. Since when do protocol droids collect bounties? <laughs> yeah, well, you got me there. Look, droids... I don't trust them. That one we fought, some of them are built like that. Others just, well, break. In the head. Sometimes conflicting orders cause it. Give a droid too much data or tell it to do something it can't do, it'll crack their behavior module in half. Others just don't get memory wipes and they start going crazy. Speaking of which, I think that little trash compactor's long overdue. <laughs> trust me, droids were made to break. And most of all, they're predictable and stupid. What do you mean about the galaxy map not being much use? Well, the astrogation system is voice printed and locked down, but that T3 unit is doubling as the astrogation system. You can try to plot a course, but without that T3 unit to perform the calculations, you'd probably plow us into a star. As long as he doesn't steal the ship, we should be all right. Uh, why would someone lock it? Takes all kinds. Maybe someone didn't want anybody taking the ship out of the system. Or knowing where the ship had been. Well, we definitely Smugglers know who do it all the time in case the Republic that. decides to board them. Or so I hear. Who did it? I have no idea. Previous owner, maybe? I'd love to get it overhauled, but that's a major job. Besides, the droid will be good enough for now. All right. Forget it. So, what happened? What are you talking about? Don't give me that. There were plenty of times back on Paragus where a lightsaber would have been helpful. So where's yours? Let's see my lightsaber out of this. Oh, yeah? I thought a Jedi was supposed to be married to their lightsaber. Guess I heard wrong. Were you a single hilt or one of those double-bladed Jedi? He has more respect for the doubles. Huh. I hear the twin blades are harder to master, but they can make enemies stampede over each other running for cover. A lot of Jedi in the Mandalorian Wars use double-bladed sabers. A more aggressive blade gives you more slaughter per swing. Hey, you didn't go red, did you? Actually, it was. Redder than Allegra Exile. It's not... It doesn't make sense for it to be red, because if he was in exile, he was in the position of transitioning, you know what I mean? I can barely remember. So if you say any of these, it's randomized. Both the blade and crystal are unique. Yeah, unique how? It was blue. That's unique, being blue. Unique being green. Unique being yellow. Violet, like a hurricane gems in the sunset. Orange, like Hasak's sun. Viridian, which is like a lighter green. Silver. I kind of like the thought of an orange blade if I'm going, you know what I mean? It's kind of a unique uh, color. Or we can go violet. I've done orange before. I've said a Viridian. It wouldn't make sense. Let's say violet because it's in the blue spectrum and it's going darker. Must have been something. Sure be nice to have it now. Might make those Sith think twice before coming after us. I think having it would just drive them to hunt me for it harder. All right, forget I said anything. Like I said before, you can check our course on the galaxy map if you want. It's on the wall behind you. I think silver would be good for like a sentinel. Honestly, to a degree, because it's like you can do like like an Ahsoka Tano and do a reverse bleed of a red saber and make it white. All right. So currently, I believe this is where. Um, hold on. What's that? Rebuild. Yeah, bonus. That's our current active quests. Uh, the next objective for us is to. So I'll make a quick save here. Citadel, so or Tilo Citadel Station. So we're gonna go ahead and save this for the next stream. We're approaching the five hour mark of the stream anyway. I remember this being a bit longer, but you know, it is what it is. I figured it'd be a good place to stop here. So, um, guys, KOTOR 2 debut stream, 10 year anniversary. 
is going to the first one is in the books but we will be right back next or sorry tomorrow to continue it so i hope you guys do join us for that we're gonna be hitting up telos um telos is a little bit of a longer experience i believe because there's surface and there's a lot of back and forth um you know in citadel station as well as on the planet surface as well and then obviously narshadas after that so um i will keep you guys informed with what is going to happen as we're gonna do it but i think sorting by planets the best bet obviously once we get to some of the uh smaller planets and only like korban korban is a very short time so i might do like the korban and maybe the droid planet simultaneously uh, i actually think you can only access the droid planet after korban so i think doing korban and then doing the droid planet m478 or whatever it is i think after that makes the most sense so that's probably you know i'm gonna do things like that and there's gonna be moments where we actually have to double back like i'll have to make a quick run like for example the paragus one you know the fuel lines that mission is now fixed so once we get fuel via nar Shaddaa, we can zip over there if we wanted so that is fixed as well anyway guys i hope you did enjoy this stream today if you did be sure to leave a like on it comment your thoughts below make sure you are subscribed turn on those post notifications so you don't miss anything i put out be sure to like follow my socials as well I've got a facebook twitter instagram snapchat and a discord link in the description if you want to get a shirt hoodie of mine there's a link in the description also an embedded feature below the stream you can scroll down and see some of the goodies i have there a big shout out to all the sponsors of the stream of course dx racer bones coffee always bearded the rage wallet matter have a tattoo and jinx custom controllers i use their products every single day you can check them out for yourselves with the links in the description make sure you use my promo code dank thousand to save at check out with them finally guys be sure to check out and sign up for the team 8000 membership program if you haven't done so already it does support the page a lot four tiers are available to you entry basic premium and ultimate all four of those tiers have a wide variety of perks but obviously the higher up on the list you go the better and more perks you're going to get for your money but that entry level is only 99 cents so it's super cheap and easy to get into the program you'll get things like custom badges by your name custom emojis to use in chat exclusive video and stream access party open lobbies giveaways discounts and plenty more we are currently working towards a, a milestone of 250 members total and we are hovering around the 230 range Range. I'm not exactly sure where we're at. We got a few more today. We, we're, we're trading a few. You know, people are coming out to the end of their monthly cycle. So let's see if we can get it. That's roughly about 20-ish to 25 people uh, to get that 250 members. I want to get that before the end of the year. So consider signing up. Links are in the description for that. There's a join button below the video and on my main channel page uh, if you're on mobile. Uh, there is like you either rotate your phone vertically there should be a join button underneath the the preview window as well and if as well you can also check out the dollar sign icon by the chat there should be a, an option in there uh, to join from there otherwise if you're already a member consider join or sorry consider gifting memberships you do have to be on desktop to do so but you can gift up to I think I think there's like you can go anywhere from one to like 50 or or more I can't remember what they've said it to but uh, there's a lot more options for you guys to get those memberships let's get to 250 by the end of year be bleh, by the end of the year guys so I can go ahead and give you guys yet another emoji i'm excited let's get to it appreciate it in advance thank you guys so much hopefully i catch you tomorrow for some more nice old republic 2 dark side 10 year anniversary run all right we'll be heading up telos so he's getting boy he's getting tired he's stretching it out so telos is tomorrow hopefully we see you then guys thanks again take care peace